welcome back to RPG Quest, and we are back to game 338, <laughs> double check that one, which is Wild Arms 3 on the PS2. How's it going everybody? Happy almost, almost Friday. <laughs> it's my Friday, Thursday. I'm off tomorrow, hooray. So how's it going everyone? Distant Fancy, how's it going? Sev, hello, hello, Arcane. Welcome, welcome back everybody. Welcome to some more, yes, yeah, sweet Wild Arms music. Prepare, prepare your lips, wet your lips for some whistling, whistling tunes, because Wild Arms music is epic. <laughs> it's a great, great game. It's pretty fun so far. I haven't gotten too far into it. It's really weird how the in-game in -game time is, like, way off the actual time. According to the in-game time, I've been playing the game for, like, an hour and something. Like, four hours in. It's not like I've been reloading. I'm not sure if it counts the prologue. It must count the prologue. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Maybe maybe the prologue isn't counted at all. You can't whistle, Seth. You just, just you just put your lips together and blow. I mean, you're not human if you don't whistle long. Even if you don't know how to whistle, you you, you can't not whistle to Wild Arms music. It's kind of had the timer. Yeah. I'm wondering, I'm wondering because, you know, how long to beat on this is like 50 or so hours. I wonder if that count, if that's like the in-game timer or people are actually like counting their, their actual time. So I imagine a lot of, uh, how long to beat time is use the in-game timer. So that's kind of scary. <laughs> Could be a long game. Such good music. Yeah. <clears throat> Money, almost 9,500 hours. Like five hundred and five hundred and thirty hours away from from the big ten k. We don't even get like any sort of intro cinematic thing. We just get like this little demo thing, and apparently, like at some point, I guess we'll probably get some sort of actual cinematic sequence. One thing, I, one thing I noticed somebody mentioned at the end of the stream there, and I didn't think of doing it, is uh, when you when you quit. This one here, yeah. When you when you quit the game, so like you know you, you save your game and it's like, do you want to quit? It gives you like kind of a little oh wait maybe we do get it. There you go. <laughs> so we didn't get this at the intro. So reloading gives you a cinematic sequence. Awesome. Animu. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be doing side quest. That guy. We haven't met him yet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I imagine it's like the first game. The first game when you got to the second disc, you got like a different intro when you reloaded. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, we didn't get the anime intro in, until until now, until we reloaded, I guess. But even when you quit the game, it also gives you like kind of a an epilogue thing. It's kind of cool. Very cool. Yeah, imagine <laughs> imagine the Japanese version has you know Japanese lyrics and or more, probably more whistling. Either way, very cool. All right. Oh yeah, start the timer before I forget. Oh, I guess I should have started that as soon as they had load. Wild Arms Twilight Venom. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, that 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 anime sequence looked very professional, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did a whole kind of uh, a whole at least OVA on on 
the game. All right, where are we going now? Uh, it's, it's been a week. Where are we going? Hmm. I don't remember. We have to go talk to the old woman, maybe? <laughs> Gotta sneak. What was the run button? <laughs> it's been a week, I forgot how to play. It's pretty much changes based on chapters, really. Oh, we'll definitely have to, like, load often just to make sure we don't miss any sequences. It's pretty cool. Obviously, we're, like, still early in the game, so we have, like, starting sequence thing, but... Oh, we got the four. We got the four powers there. So, the powers of the four great guardians were released and trusted to drifters. I have fulfilled my promise. Now, each one of you may take the air. You may take to the air, master of your own medium. I may be wrong, but I feel that such is the true meaning of the guardians' power. Now, let us believe in a future in which the destinies of man guardians unite in harmony. All right. We got the four powers. Now we're gonna go somewhere. I don't know. It's, it's been. It's hard after like five days. Right now you're about to leave the village and wander outside for the first time. But the part from our community is to go to places some brother does not cover. No matter how dire your circumstances become, he will not be able to help you. Please take care of your journey. Thanks, old woman. I'm sure we'll figure it out. <clears throat> Let's take a rest. Sleep. Ah, the whistling. This game has the best whistling. All the all the Wild Arms games. Such good whistling. There's not enough whistling music out there. <laughs> all right. Let me tell you how to materialize as many gardens as your maximum MTC will allow. Dog, dogged perseverance is necessary to increase your MTC. All potential of guardians you acquire cannot be realized until you master your own self. Okay. Doesn't help me at all. Okay. It's a dogged perseverance thing. You have to, like... Eh, ask. <laughs> perseverance. I refer to the slaying of your enemies through the power of guardians. Okay, so use the guardians as much as you can, I guess. The path is straight. It is long. MTC rises each enemy you dispatch, but the increase is not consistent. First increase happens after the victory over 10 enemies. Next is 20 and then 40. So, two times each time. Alright, so kill as many enemies as we can with using our gardens, I guess, to increase our MTC. The enemy is not a threat to you. There will be little to learn from it. It will not increase your MTC either. Constant training is necessary to improve oneself. Okay. Also travel with cute little intelligent furry things. <laughs> <laughs> got it. That's important. You gotta have those cute little furry mascot characters. No, seeing this won't do any good. But come back safe, okay? Town's gonna be too quiet without you and your granny fighting all the time. I'm trying to think if I met any cute furry things yet. <laughs> Welcome, brother. How have you been? Rename? Rename what? <laughs> Right. I can rename these. That's interesting. So if the name is confusing, I can rename all the spells. Shield, protect, decelerate, pressure, refrigerate, heal, whatever. We'll keep the names. Try it. Heading out already. I'll be sure to eat your vegetables at least three times a day, even when I'm not around. Make sure you check into a room. Make sure you don't throw all the clothes over the place, okay? And don't forget to pack the things you use often last, so you can put them out, pull them out of your bags quickly. Oh, and, and, take care, uh, take care out there, you hear? Yep. Just ask me if you ever wish to change names of your arcana. I can do it for you through a little ceremony. It's unique here in Vaskar. Name of them all Lando. <laughs> Just confused the hell out of myself. Like, which spell am I using? The first two seasons marked 5 out of 10. Ash, not good. 
I think most of the intro variations are around long enough. Yeah, I imagine, like, well, assuming I don't play, like, for really long stretches and go through two chapters. But if I, if I feel like I'm, like, if I feel I'm in a new chapter and about to hit another chapter and I haven't reloaded, I'll make sure to reload. But yeah, I mean, probably, <laughs> it's probably gonna be many streams of this game, so. Hey, Mr. J. I am armed and dangerous, indeed. How's it going? Hop of traveling these pathetic love mouth amateurs hope we split up once we get where we're going wait who said that <laughs> was i talking to myself how did i how did i have a conversation with myself oh i guess walking this way it's not a job well done i suppose it's time we start thinking about our next destination I've gotta get out of here before granny lectures my ears off where are we heading to next I think we we'll make a mighty fine team. Hope we can stick together for another adventure. Why are we getting that every time we're trying to walk that way? <laughs> He's like, you're not supposed to go this way, so we're just going to say something random. Another hour of hard work. Yes, my work is done. My work week is done. Time for some... Oh, yeah. Do we have enough money to buy that uh, map thing? Do I see my money again? Oh yeah, out here. No, I need like 5,000, I think. World screen. Gotta save up for that. I shouldn't have bought all these, like, reviving healing items, but, you know, hindsight. Is this for again? There's no description. Oh, there it is. Yeah, consumable. Hmm. I mean, it's only one. It's not gonna give me enough money to get close to the 5,000, so... <clears throat> Arc Scepter. Yeah, can we talk to the Arc Scepter? Let's see. Uh, no, I guess we use the Arc Scepter to get our dudes. Uh. Hello, hey, Blue, ne Blue Moon Empress. Well, Arms 3, yes. It's got great music. <laughs> Time to no life it? Exactly. Alright, well, I guess we'll figure out where we're going when we leave this place. Now, why well, you feel confined in this here village? It's the most peaceful village anywhere. Your medium materialization, the power of Shudark, the Water Guardian. I'm just saying the same thing. Wait, I can't leave here, because every time I tried leaving, it's like... I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Yet they don't let us leave. The game's like, nope. <laughs> Wait, talking to the grandmom. We have to go. We have to talk to her in the uh, that altar place. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna have enough money to buy that thing eventually, anyways. So. Altar covered in lowered runes. Blow up the altar. But, but, but you gotta catch them all. Who needs to, like, you know, have necessities when you have a complete collection? Okay, where are we supposed to go here? The drifters don't make their loved ones worry when they can do it. And that's why it makes a first rate drifter for first rate. All right. Hmm. I did talk to the granny. Figured she'd be the one to to say something. Or at least entrusted the drifters. Following from his nature, you may take. To the air, master of your own medium. How do we take to the air? <laughs> Can we fly? Like, 
totally lost where I'm supposed to go. It's a problem when you come back after, you know, a couple days and you don't know what the hell you were doing. In terms of the story. I can't leave the town. Syrotine, how's it going? Zenith VR went live. Then it's so high the servers are kept. That's always a problem whenever MMOs come, like, start up. The servers just can't handle the load. That's good, I guess, for the developers, but... It means this game's popular, but... Okay, like, it's not letting us leave, though. It's like, I gotta get out of here, but it's like, no, you're not leaving. I guess we'll talk to everybody a couple times till we figure out where we need to go. Talk to this guy. Stay here, but I think it's better now. I'm going to get my show back on the road. I'll be heading to the next village soon. There you go. Probably had to have him tell us where the village was. The village would be the Jolly Roger. It lies beyond the bridge on the shore to the southwest. That's probably what we had to do. Just a random conversation with the merchant. It's a poor town, a place where travelers from all over the world cross paths. And that's the weird thing with the uh, with the map on this game is like if somebody doesn't tell you something exists, you can't find it. <laughs> you really walk to a spot where there's a town, but nope, can't see it. You gotta somebody has to tell you it's there. Or pass cross again too. Remember, I'm always open for business. Okay, now I could probably leave. Yeah, definitely not open world. Yeah, most games usually, like, lock progression by throwing you some really tough enemies on the way. This one's like, no. <laughs> lock progression by just not telling you something exists. Well, what do we do now? Does anyone have any pressing matters they'd like to take care of? We're, we were all having fun releasing the Guardians. No one has any errands to run. And now that we're all done, why don't we just go do our own thing? Do our own thing? I suggest we head down to the bustling port town of Jolly Roger. I'm sure we can obtain some leads to further missions and means of transportation. It's not a bad idea. We'll find our own path from there. Well, we've only known each other for a short while, but we were able to complete all our missions. Let's have our goodbye party there. <laughs> Regina looks so sad. So sad. Goodbye party. Who's ours? Oh yeah, it's not like we're a team or anything. Let's decide it then. Let's head over to Jolly Roger. Yeah, that's the thing. And especially since it was a merchant of all things, I had to like not buy from him but talk to him. <laughs> Chat. I mean, there's a small selection of characters and the town wouldn't, wouldn't let us leave the town until we said the right thing, but still. The worst is games where you have to talk to the NPCs multiple times, so talking to them the first time doesn't trigger anything, but you talk to them, like, the second or even worse, third time to trigger, like, a piece of dialogue that lets you continue. Those are the worst. <laughs> you know, so we have to go to the bridge, but let's double-check, make sure nothing new happened. What was the button I had to press? <laughs> it's been a while, so... Yep, everybody leaves. Virginia just does everything herself. Let's just fight these things anyways. Oh! One of the few things that Virginia can actually kill. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking for a bridge. Let's make sure there's nothing here. I mean, they didn't tell us about anything else. I imagine probably, unless there's some random spot that unlocks after he tells you about the, the other bridge town or whatever. Nope, it's first time uh, playing this one. Back when this uh, was out on the PS2 era, I, I didn't play it because it's like, oh, well, I, I'm gonna, I don't want to play this unless I play 1 and 2, and I never go around to playing 1 and 2, so I just never touch this one. It's unfortunate because, of course, it's going to be a fantastic game, but... 
Yeah, the world world map music is great. So good. Yeah, two two the localization of two especially. Two itself wasn't bad as a game, but god damn that localization. The further and further you get got into that game, the worse and worse it got. By the end by the the end of the first disc is like it's nonsensical. It's like what are they even saying here? Let's just do combat here. Alright, we gotta use the, the powers, right? Otherwise we're Problem is we don't have enough FP and the enemies don't last long enough. <laughs> Maybe these ones will. Gotta feel over that. Good bricked. Alright. Let's magic this up. Where's the description? <laughs> oh, there it is. Physical, yeah. Let's just use these so we don't... Everybody get some points, I guess. So I get all those fancy special effects. It's definitely an interesting system with the whole FP thing where if you're using these... Uh, if you're using these abilities, it doesn't lower your FP. You just need to have a certain amount of FP to actually use them. Decelerate. made his ass. Thanks a lot. It's going well. Rip. The camera just go through the floor there. <laughs> Until they went through the floor. Level up. Clive. I'm the Virginia solo level. Yeah, I mean, they, they kind of did similar thing to Dragon Quarter, except, you know, this game is actually good. <laughs> I mean, Dragon Quarter technically came out after this one, although I don't know. I don't know if Dragon Quarter came out before or after this one in Japan. I'll be before, or after, I should say. I mean, it's not, it's not quite cell shading. I mean, they, they've got some pretty decent texture work on the actual characters. They just have this, like, thick outline to make it look like a... Friggin' Virginia still gets her ass kicked. We love Dragon Quarter. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Dragon Quarter, unfortunately. It... Hey, you. Magic damage. What if this takes effect right away? Like, if I quicken him now, is he gonna get a faster speed? Like, right now? It looks. It's going well. Yeah, Clive seems to do pretty damn good damage with his gun, so... I, I gotta get to the, uh... The dude who, uh... Need to get the dude that, like, lets us... Increase, or, uh... 
smith our weapons. Maybe in this town we're going to we'll have that. Just the thing that in lies, yeah. In lane lies these new enemies just to see what we're weak to. Guys are weak to light, I guess. Well, we don't have any light attack, so that's not gonna help us. Basically, fire, I guess we want to use. Whether they're not at least having the, the the damage. So it's like earth, water, wind. I'm assuming the fire is the missing one. Lightning, cold, or ice. They have. They're weak to light and they're uh, resistant to darkness. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Undead be hurt by fire. Well, that's, that's the thing with... Uh, that's the thing with Breath of Fire, like Dragon Quarter. It's it's not a Breath of Fire game. You know what I mean? It's, like it's, it's completely different. Obviously, you know, some people might enjoy it, sure, but... For the people who, who are big fans of the Breath of Fire series, and they play that, and it's like, yeah, this is not a... Oh, something here. It's definitely not a Breath of Fire game. Yeah, there's Jolly Roger. Alright, so fire. Who's got the fire attack? Oh, he's got the fire. <laughs> of course, of course, he has the fire attack. One does most damage normally, anyways. Be like a one of those really sour Jolly Ranchers. I haven't had a Jolly Rancher in like forever. I'm not a huge fan of them, but you know, they're okay. Just... Dragon Quarter is Divinity Original Sin Alpha. <laughs> Heart. Well, we can't summon Cam Captain Planet with without heart. Spartoy. Still rate his ass. Let's use fire to see how much damage it does. I mean, not as much as our gun. And you just heal... Well, he has a sniper. <laughs> Makes sense. Of course. <laughs> At least she's getting healed. And Virginia is such a... Such like a paper... Not even a tank. She's just... I wouldn't call her a glass cannon. Because it's not like she's doing a lot of damage yet. Yeah, fire sucks. <laughs> Might as well just use my gun. Boom, headshot. Look at that, 123 damage, like fucking hell. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, Dragon Quarter was not originally planned to be a Breath of Fire game, and they kind of they kind of shoehorned in the whole Breath of Fire name to it in order to uh, try to sell the game, because, yeah, there's no way that <laughs> was intended from, from day one, oh, something else here, to be a uh, Breath of Fire game. The westerly wind heralds prosperity. Find the port of Jolly Roger to the west. Lucrative deals are waiting. Must find every potential treasure thingy. I remember doing this a lot in the previous <laughs> Wild Arms. Just like walk like few steps, ping, few steps, ping, few steps, ping. Not Clive. God damn it, <laughs> Virginia! Stop getting your ass kicked. Of 
Increase evasion. Hey, yo. Yeah, Draken was was a special game. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Well, so many hours. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. If this one's about as long, if not longer. Especially considering, you know, the way I play games, which is, you know, try try to be as thorough as possible. All right. So no other points of interest until they tell us that there's points of interest. <laughs> As usual. Oh, there is. Oh, just a fence post. <laughs> Come on. Men who cry over using up a Gimel coin often lose their lives. Best time for Gimel coins right when you find it. What? So they're basically hinting that Gimel coins probably are usually dropped right before a boss fight. Playing Minesweeper we are. Yeah, these things definitely take more ECN whenever I try to dodge the uh, the battle. Last game in 2022. Yep, this one's gonna be like a five month game. So let's just do a fight here. The thing I found weird is the uh, the tags that Twitch uses. This one's listed as an RPG and sports game. It's like, what? <laughs> Why is Wild Arms 3 under the sports game? Why does it have a sports game tag? Makes no sense. Much of a protective year? Yeah. I mean, the, ga the games we've been having re recently have been pretty long, so... Mm. Aw, we didn't do like 120 whatever damage we normally do. Petrifying his I know what this guy's weak to. <laughs> Olympic discipline. How's that going, Herxina, by the way? <laughs> Such good music. Wind gem. 1.1 times Virginia. Because she's so far behind. Alright. Let's see if I can get my ECN up to, like, my M whatever. I need to kill ten enemies using my... I'm not sure if I have to use my summons or just kill them using my, my thing. I want to get my... What the hell they call it there? The that thing that's one. I need to get that to two. 10k, what, for the end of the year? I mean, I should. <laughs> hey, Tom Barry, how's it going? The Wild Irons? The Wild Arms? The morning when Wildlands came out. A bit disappointed. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, Wild Arms 2... Wild Arms 2 as a game was pretty good, but the localization was just... Yeah, no. <laughs> Just bad. Get out of those crits. Voidered. Oh, 
Void your times two. Alright. Just need to um, heal. New phones faster than your old phones, hard to type on. You're talking to it. <laughs> Spelling years, yeah. You can't get the same kind of keyboard thing that you had on your first phone. Probably. It's horrible. I said the, the, the beginning of the game isn't too bad, and then you get towards the end of the first disc, and you're like, uh, what's going on? And then you get to the second disc, and you're like, okay. <laughs> Am I playing a different game all of a sudden? Is that fun for 7 Google Pixel? <laughs> yeah, it's always awesome. Technology hand me down is always good. I'm assuming, I don't know, do I have to use. Maybe I have to use my. actual summon to kill the enemies? I don't know. Some PS. some PlayStation points. Um, do I want to even put any points into anything? Sure, like two of six. Does that mean I, I cap out at six? Just based on my level. I don't know if I want to put anything in like resistances. Is <laughs> your <laughs> that's uncle? I need me a new sugar mama. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah the keyboard would, of course, be quite different. You, I mean, you can definitely download different keyboard styles, so... This will be, a, like, a different keyboard, keyboard app that's probably very similar to iOS. Hundred and eighty nine, Jesus. <laughs> Leave some for the rest of us, Clive. Jesus. Just analyze this guy. He's definitely not weak to thunder. Yeah, it is summon, isn't it? That's what I thought. Looks like I figured I'd probably kill at least 10 enemies using these abilities. Of course, summoning, you have to, like, I guess you just. Best bet is to guard for a couple turns so you get enough. Enough FP and then summon and murder everything. <laughs> One eight three damage, even while guarding.
You don't really get... That's the problem, too, is you don't really get FP by guarding. You pretty much have to attack. <laughs> it's like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Pilots. Just summon, I guess. Summon. Oops. Summon. Summon. Planet Breaker. Oh yeah, nice. Kojira! Did that even do any damage? <laughs> it is doing half damage, so it's not helping things after all. Is it zero? <laughs> is he only going to be weak to the fire? Let me know the best enemy to try killing with summons. Yay, we killed them. <laughs> hey, game that tune. It is. All right. Going to town. It's such good music in this. Well, what now? We also need some leads in order to continue. In addition, we need. Grub a nail. It's so amazing how well we get along just after meeting each other. So let's liven up our farewell party with some food. I can't stand my roast gatherings. Or Virginia, so say it. <laughs> I kind of want to leave you guys. You mean to ask around over drinks at the saloon? Makes sense. Let's say our goodbyes and discuss our individual agendas with the saloon. It's so good. It's such good variety, too. I mean, it's amazing music, and there's, like, so much, like, it's, it's a different tune everywhere you go. It's so good. Arm smithy. I don't know. Got this arm smithy. Amelia's workshop. Freelance arm smith and shipwright. Strong body will get you over the dunes and through the wasteland. You'll need more than that to get by in this hard, tough world. You need brains. <clears throat> I love how every character has like a different portrait so far. I mean, there's probably like a lot of characters that have the same portraits, but it's crazy. Come and see me if you got something you need to know. I'm always happy to help. What? Let's open her fridge. No. Stuck. <laughs> stuck. No, oh, game over. We're stuck. I think I got, can dash out of it. Well, for 4,500 hours of like all the RPGs and RPG quests. <laughs> It's like 337 and a half games. Yeah, we'll have to put a little post-it note on on top of the game box when we hit 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours of RPGs. It's too much. Vintage arms. Howdy. You can help you with any machines like arm ships and such? For a shift across the dunes in? You can't find one anywhere, am I right? Am I right? Well, today's your lucky day. Why not help me with my research? I'm gonna put together the strongest, most cutting-edge sandcraft ever. 
my sister Blake Novertures. Hear her out. What do you think? This baby's the cutting edge in high speed sandcraft technology. Conventional sandcraft generates so much friction that the sand cuts through the hole. This number packs a solid load of armament while making huge advances in overall speed and durability. She's my answer to all the hurdles confronting further development in the technology. Of course, I have to skim a little on the weaponry and finish her, and the drive data is blank. Hmm, I need 15 more dragon fossils to finish her chassis. All I have to do is get them. Just promise to record her drive data, and she's yours. Sounds like a great deal to me. What do you say? Dragon fossils for a sandcraft. I mean, it sounds like a good deal. <laughs> Depends if I have to kill the dragons or just find their, their dead corpses. Axe of the Blood God? I don't think I've heard that one. I need to listen to more podcasts. Because I do a lot of driving with, with my work, so... It's a good time to listen to podcasts and stuff. One up. I'll take a look. Make summons? Well, summons are based on your... Uh, I was going to say persona, but... <laughs> on your uh, your guardian dude. They're more, they're more FP, uh, which... What does FP stand for again? Flower points? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever points you get in battle. Uh, you, the higher that is, the more damage you can do with the summon. Eh, who needs the manual? <laughs> I'll have it completed. Maybe you want to help, but I don't think you got enough right now. Dragon fossils are made into all kind of arm parts, and there's no substitute for them. Well, I'll have to take a look. Probably so much stuff to uh, <laughs> to listen to over time. All right, let's upgrade some arms. Bentorine ninety three R Rapier EZ. Gotta upgrade the shit. <laughs> upgrade cost fifteen hundred. Crit. The blood. Gotta get, gotta get some BLT. Weight probably increases your speed, I imagine. Time to pull out the manual. <laughs> Tend to pull out a light so I can actually read the friggin' manual. Alright. Alright, which one... What does what? Uh... Menus, loading, saving. Be careful, this page is ripped. Status effects, these facilities. Attack revision, hit revision, bullet revision, arm weight, critical, and shoes modification. Assuming okay, so I'm assuming shoot is attack revision, hit is hit revision, bullet bullet revision. So yeah, how many bullets you have? Arm weight and critical. Yeah, so so SHT is the attack, <laughs> as I figured it would be. But hit rate. Well, she's got enough bullets. We be Jedi, that is correct. And I don't want to spend money on one. I want to get my uh, my map first. Let's increase his damage all the way. No. <laughs> I love how his damage is like practically non existent on that. <laughs> but he does like massive damage. Bullet would definitely be uh, an upgrade. It's worth getting though. This two bullets kind of sucks during battle. You know what? Let's just do that right now. Screw it. <laughs> Next step is way more expensive, though. Maybe lowering the weight so you can actually go faster. Uh... I 
anything worth selling? I got all these gems. Sell these. We kill enemies with uh, magic so we can get more gems. At least they're worth money. Yeah. Shoot. You could just call it ATK or something, considering it's literally attack power. It's weird, because usually the, the game's pretty good at uh, giving you descriptions for things when you hold triangle. Like, it'll give you descriptions of all the stuff. It's kind of weird they don't do that in that... Uh, maybe they do when you go to... Status. No, not really. Gotta get me some dragon fossils. <clears throat> MTC one of one zero one whatever that means. Hey demonic. Yeah, makes sense. Bell Saloon Bellstar. That's false for directions if you ever lose your way in life. I love the portraits are like super uh, saturated when you just look at the portrait because, you know, since they gotta go through that, that background to de which desaturates them. I always use authentic sounding advice on Q, even though he barely knows much about everything. Oh, howdy there. Without the trade ships coming in, who would want to come and stay here? And so far, I haven't seen like one repeated portrait. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some at some point, but. Looking for leads? You're quite an diligent drifter, aren't you? I love my job, too. Life's easier when you like your job, and it's great not having any complaints. What do you say? I'll give you some info if all of you eat here. It'll be about 150 gala. Sure. Much obliged. Leave it to me for good food, good drink, and good company. Oops, I say good company. Well, shucks. Please excuse me from this mouth of mine. Here in Jelly Roger, we got lots of old tales of treasure. And they ain't really that old. I'm talking about a prize that none of you drifters have ever been able to get their hands on. Eternal Sparkle. In ages past, our world was ruled by a race of wicked demons until they were pushed to the brink of extinction. The demon knight assigned three followers to protect the treasure. That treasure was the Eternal Sparkle. Uh... I'm glad you're all good listeners, but I need to start fixing dinner. Have a seat at the table. I'll bring you some supper and get the rest of my story in Jiffy. All the NPCs in their own photo? Yeah, that's... I mean, that's a lot of friggin' work, which is awesome. Yeah, but you can. Man, am I full. What a cook she is. She hooked us up real good. I wouldn't worry about the tab. Not only did we, wait, we have our goodbye party, we also got valuable lead as well. Yeah, you got a point. Anyway, what do you all think about the information she provided? Do you want to go investigate? I'm going. I don't care what you guys do. For working alone anyway. It's a legendary eternal sparkle. In ages past, our world was ruled by a race of wicked demons until they were pushed to the brink of extinction. The demon knight assigned three followers to protect the treasure. A treasure is Eternal Sparkle. The three followers transform themselves into seals to protect the Eternal Sparkle, waiting for the return of the Demon Knight. And one of those seals lies in this town. That's what she said, right? It's the Sparkle part that makes you think of some kind of gem, don't it? Aren't the legends full of these things? Unless we're sure of something. I don't want any part of it. I'm out of here. No legend, huh? Hmm. Considering that they remain strong... Either this lead is a red herring, or even if it's true, then there's no doubt that it would be hazardous. Oh, exactly, yeah. That's why, you know, th this game kind of oozes quality, right? <laughs> High and by. <laughs> yeah, J Jet seems to be the most annoying. Just like an angsty teen. I have nothing better to do, but I'm not enthusiastic about the prospects. 
Don't worry about it. Our partnership ends here. Once outside, we'll scatter into the wind. I'll head out alone. I've always been alone. I'd like being alone. Here you go again. You can only do so much by yourself. You stay together. We can do that much more. I said, Virginia, show them that you're the protagonist. The four of us have... That's a big-ass fingers, by the way. The four of us have different likes and dislikes, so we should all support each other. Who cares if it's tough? As long as there's four of us, there's always a glimmer of hope in the darkness. Oh yeah, I'm sure he'll get better, but... <laughs> right now, he's, he's, he's too much, like... much one of those like annoying like <laughs> he's, he's he's very much like squall just that kind of like ugh. <laughs> smiling portrait we're at least the guardians the four of us together can make a great team hmm i didn't expect that after a farewell celebration have you been thinking about that Yeah, the, the, like, I mean, when you're walking around in the overworld, you're pretty much constantly, like, moving a few feet and pinging. I mean, <laughs> it was like that in the other Wild Arms, too. Move a couple feet, ping. Move a couple feet, ping. It's like, ugh. But you kind of want to make sure you don't miss anything, right? Yeah, yeah, they definitely have that, uh... The Disney-esque. <laughs> These characters look like they would, they would easily fit into uh, the uh, Kingdom Hearts games. First meeting might have been a coincidence. We didn't come all this way due to our individual strengths. We did it as a team. Someday I want to say it wasn't just a coincidence. It was fate. Guys, let's make our mark as one. Oh, ha <laughs> ha Well, that was a mouthful. Hey, did I say something funny? Am I missing something? Yeah, you're missing something. Never thought anybody could say something like that with a straight face. But you do have a point. Drifters would never leave their mark. They all all they did was drift. You mean? You betcha. I'm all for it. And you ain't got anything else to do, right? Oh well. I suppose you're right. Hmm. All right. I'm game. I consider it prudent for all of us to pull our resources until we're able to set individual goals. Yippee! We're a team. Now we're all gonna seek out the eternal sparkle. Not so fast. Huh? What, you got some kind of problem? Yeah, a big problem. That's funny. I thought you couldn't wait to head out treasure hunting. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the way you're... You pestering... I'm talking about you pestering me on my way. What nerve. I work alone. I don't have time to play with wannabe drifters. Wannabe drifters? Okay, tough guy. You say you work alone, so fill me in. Tell me what you've done. Tell everyone here what the great things you've been able to do. All, do being all by your fantastic self. Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh, before you start mumbling excuses, let me ask what you were doing with that in the car with that Arc Scepter. You were planning on making up with it, weren't you? And what happened? You blew it. You didn't have what it takes to steal it, cowboy. <laughs> I'm liking Virginia more and more. And here you are saying that you work best when you're all alone. When did you get such a big head? Why you... Th that's not... Ugh. I was only after... I, was the, I wasn't the only one after that cargo that night. Whoa, hey, uh, that's all beside the point. So, like, yeah, we're so, you know... Who cares if we're wannabe drifters? We can't take it easy and have fun while we venture into the unknown, right? Right? Perhaps you're right. Look, leader. Me? Who else? This is your idea, isn't it? So, leader, let us reaffirm our collective purpose. Well, we have three goals. First, to find the ruins where the Eternal Sparkle li lies, to work as a team, and lastly, to make the Eternal Sparkle ours. See, that's why I work alone. Give it a rest, hero. You're just hurting yourself. Besides, when it comes to persuasion, she trounces all of us hands down. Were you two listening? Oh, of course. We're looking forward to working with you, leader. Speak for yourself, punk. Ooh. 
What an emo. <laughs> There's like random hooks. <laughs> that's where you hang your coat. Seems like a weird room decor to have. Crap dock, danger, restricted area, go away. <laughs> Let's go over here. Steelberry. Many carrots. the stairs. Oh, there's one dragon fossil. <laughs> one down, 14 to go. I'll say I've already picked one up somewhere, but I don't remember seeing any of those. Oh, we got two. Got one somewhere else. Yeah, it's, it's it's annoying that like the the whole pick up and run is on the same button. So every time you try like you're like going around trying to pick things up, you're just like dashing constantly. It's like wow, oh. I'm just trying to look for objects. Yeah, exactly. Ow. Uh, I don't think you can change the okay to like something different than dash. Howdy, good to see you kiddos. Let's go. Oh, what's that face for? Oh, I know, we found some clues. Come on, give us a little hint. Please. How would I help a scoundrel like you? A scoundrel? Oh, that hurts. We're drifters. Sometimes our goals collide, but it comes with territory. So please, lay off the insults. You want the eternal sparkle? How did you... You've been spying on us? Now, well, pretty much. There you go again. Look, anybody in this town with half a brain can find that out. Ain't much else in this town. Look. Let us... Let's work together. All of us. I'm sure we can uncover the location of... Nope. I can't trust you. I hate not trusting people, but still. I... I just said I'd make a team with these drifters I met out in the wasteland. So I can't work with you right now. Hmm. That's too bad. Just listen to this. I heard the Eternal Sparkle somewhere inside an ancient vault called the Ruins of Memory. Ruins of Memory? An old museum constructed by the ancients that houses the history of our world. Some say it's been plundered before, but no one knows how deep it is in there. That's quite a mysterious layout. Well, maybe that's why some still whisper the relics inside untouched by modern hands. Believe me or not, it's your choice, princess. We're not trying to fool you. And trust me on that one. Gotta stuff that Fire Emblem ballot. How's it going, Eltish? Next time you meet, hope you'll be ready to help us out. Because I had to make some sacrifices come out here and see you. See, so yeah, I confirm with X, but there's no like, uh, yeah, there's there's no D 
dash. <laughs> so it's confirm is basically dash. I don't know if, let's say you change confirm to something else, that'll become dash. Let's see. So if I change cancel to X. Now we'll, oops. Right. It's canceled now. <laughs> Gotta get used. To... Yeah, so it's still it's still dash. So confirm is still dash no matter what. So you can't unbind those to your kink. Then we gotta go back and wait. Fuck. <laughs> Circle. Nope. That's load. It's fucking out. There. I gotta press circle. There, now I can press. <laughs> That's false for direction if you ever lose your way in life. It's always fusing. It's the same shit. Whose volts? Each crashing wave of sand bites off a little more land from the continent. This town's name, time will come too. Well, I've seen this portrait before. <laughs> Maybe with a different outfit, but it's the same, same dude. I remember that shin anywhere. When did the world get this way? I'm not talking about legends and stories, I just want to know the truth. It's the merchant dude. I need a world screen. This place was a prosperous harbor back in this day. So when it comes to equipment for ships and other devices, they're way ahead of all their villages. Why, speaking of the arms you all carry, you can have them upgraded at the armsmith. It'll cost an arm and leg, so you should really think over it before plunking down the cash. You don't need to upgrade lots of parts at once either. Just try picking a party member and upgrade one of his arm parts. That's all you really need. We're gonna need a lot of money in this game, aren't we? <laughs> All these arm upgrades and shit. Just the camera is nice and quick to like rotate, which is great. I hate games where you like, you know, the, the camera is super, super slow. Or like uh, Drag uh, Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter, where you had like the analog thumbsticks or the analog. Uh, when you have to like really hold it down in order to move fast, otherwise it was like super slow. But if a drifter is never given, you must find it yourself. This guy looks like he's been slightly beaten up. It can be found just about anywhere, even in this old port. If you ever get stuck, just blaze yourself a new trail. I know you'll find a path out of the darkness. Oh, we, since we're doing the dash animation, it always sounds like we're the one meowing or whatever. Chill out the cats. Did I just freeze that cat? I did. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, kitty. I can't chill out the other ones, just that one cat. <laughs> Special cat. <laughs> it's just like put. Yeah, it's just the one cat we can actually interact with. Our. It's weird. I guess because the other ones are stationary. You can't do that, but that, since that one moves, you can actually do stuff like that. If you can do that with, like, random NPCs, too, can you just, like, freeze them? Nope, just that one cat. <laughs> the special putty tat.
<laughs> Went alright, just, just blowing up the cats and freezing the cats. He's all fine. He likes it. It's like playing. How's it going for me? Alright, let's go to that uh, place he told us about. Quarantine, oh, that sucks. Feeling better, I hope. Like the previous Sunday, we choke on the excessive spit production. No, that's not fun. Yeah, hopefully, you feel better now. A lot of people got hit with that around the uh, the holiday season. <laughs> uh, the joys of the COVIDs. Uh, reflect like quicken. I mean, swing quicken makes you go faster while turbulence just gives you better evasion. Vapor Blast. It's gonna be hard, like, leveling up your FP. So you can't get FP up, like, easily just by, you know, guarding. Way up on the plateau or something. What's this? Oh, found some random money. Almost at the 5,000 we need for that world map thingy. World screen. Oh, that's the place we need to go. Runes of Memory. So hard not to whistle this music. Ow. 
that's zero damage. Why can't he? Because he already uses MTC or whatever. Keep working on the MTC. Gym, water gym. Nothing over here. Keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I was going to say, didn't he already attack? <laughs> I guess he counterattacked. Level up for Virginia. over here for now. I'm sure they're going to send us over here at some point, but... Click on the trigger. What does a drifter may cost you a life if you don't pull it? What are you doing here? I want to join forces, princess. Didn't I mention that before? I do have a name. Let me introduce myself. Janice Cascade. The pleasure is all mine. I seem to have made a bad first impression. You have every right to reject my offer. That is precisely why I want to join forces. I want to redeem myself and earn your trust. If you're after the Eternal Sparkle, we'd like to help. Don't do it, Virginia. Fine, let's find the Eternal Sparkle together. They're like, what? <laughs> hey, 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 what are you thinking? You can't trust this guy. As long as you're the leader, you shall abide by your decision. However, are you sure you have carefully thought this out? I understand your concern, but everybody deserves a second chance, and a third chance, and a fourth chance, until they, you know, eventually just stab you in the back and twist the dagger. I don't like to hold grudges. It's too hard and painful to handle. To tell you the truth, I don't trust him 100% either. But at some point, I have to do this, or else I'll be skeptical of him forever. 
That's why I choose to trust him just now. Understood. I shall accept his propo- I mean, our leader's decision. Look. You have my utmost respect, Princess. I wish I, I could think like you. Actually, maybe I did back in the day. And now we're a team. What are you guys going to do for us? Information. You can provide information about the demons who said to have sealed the eternal sparkle. Demons? I'm sure you've heard of them. Those demons you hear about in folklore? They say they existed ages ago. Our spiteful rancor supposedly lives in, within these ruins. You know what that means? Eternal sparkle and the demons are somehow connected. I'll tell you more once I find it. I think that's a fair deal. We just need you to escort us deep within this trap-filled ruins. With our strength and your information, we'll get through these ruins in no time. We're counting on you, Janus. Same here, Princess. Same here. <laughs> Are they actually part of the party right now? No, they're just... They're not going to actually fight. Jump! I love the fact that you can't jump up like this, this knee-high, you know, spot here. Good old, good old RPGs where protagonists can't lift their feet off the ground. Anna Burge. This will analyze every single one of these. Wow, critical for 12 whopping damage. He just got hit with something. <laughs> Poison, I'm guessing. It's weak to ice. I know, right? We're going to do all the work. 56 damage. It's like 20% damage. Counterattacks there. Poison gas trap is set. What? <laughs> Open it. Well, since you're already poisoned. It's like <laughs> rip her vitality. Yeah. This one's got a lot of annoying status effects going to the manual. Antidote. Green. A huge heap of rock resembling a human form. Could it be a sculpture from ages past? An overwhelming sensation can be felt in these rocks. This resembles a human form. I don't see it. <laughs> I guess that thing sticking out of the rock. Quicken books. Remember when Quicken was a thing? Ow. I 
Damn it. <laughs> target of the auto target of the wrong thing. Assuming book is weak to fire or something, but nice. You know it. Burn all those books. All of them. Set. Mm. Get the scandals. Get disarmed. <laughs> it's trash, you guys, for dive alert. God, that game is trash. Broken showcase remains, which is believed to have displayed artifacts from ages past. Oh man, Summer sure had a loot fest here. This sucks. Kick is the world's first two button fighting game. No D pad directional movement. <laughs> makes, it, makes it sound so. It's like, oh my god. You can play the game without directional buttons. It's so good. Me six hundred, yeah. Good old one button joysticks. It's gotta be playable on a Mac. <laughs> on an old Mac. One button mouse, that's all. Wow. Damn. Clive is too broken. Not fair. Let's heal back up a bit here. <laughs> Looks like using single button Morse code. Wow. That would have been nuts. Could use one of those like mind reading <laughs> things. This <laughs> is also controlled by Morse code. I'm assuming you, you probably have to play that in like super slow motion because otherwise, yeah.
course, level up. Combat does uh, drag on a bit down all these special effects. <laughs> the epic phone key pads in television as well. That's what we need in a controller, a phone key pad. Sefi Ruff, good tofu! How's it going? 43 months of awesome support. Thanks so much for all the continued support. Good tofu. Yo, indeed. It's pretty comfortable. Oh, yeah. That's surprising. I mean, just looking at it, it just looks like it'd be a pain to use, but... Isn't, isn't the D-pad, like, really, like, ugh, on that one, too? Dodged it. <laughs> sure it does. Don't tell her that. She's lying, Virginia. Santa Claus does exist. Yeah, Genesis supposedly had a pretty good one. I never, I never actually used the Genesis controller myself, so... But I hear the the D-pad is pretty good. Genesis and Saturn. I grew up with obviously the NES and SNES, so I'm used to those D-pads back in the day. But guys, oh, keeping the door shut. Uh, ice, ice, baby. Boy. Pressure. And press chronicle. How's it going? Happy Thursday. Damn, these guys hit too hard. That was a nice counterattack. Man, everybody's critting. What the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna hit the friggin' skeleton now. You have to hit something else. Yo. Mm. I'm doing quite good. Big beefy meat mashers. Gotta mash that meat. Double level up. Oh man, Virginia's down to five vitality. Guess we gotta keep her healed. Oh, you'll bury. Mm. 
we are enough to buy that uh, the magic map thing now. The sparkle of the teardrop shines ever so high. Many have tried to reach for the top, only to wipe a teardrop in their own eye. Card. Doubles enemies, Gello. Consumable. Good for bosses, I guess. Oop, guess that was a one way trip. Skellingtons. something with these guys. Yeah, I do. Whatever, whatever the... Well, she's got the earth thing on. So it should increase her defense and HP, but... Gallus... I, I guess the water one has like an actual attack defense thing, which seems to a better idea, so maybe be better to give her the uh, the water one. Yeah, that, that, I think she does have that. Yeah, I think you're right. I should switch her and Gallows because it seems the water one has like a, a, a chance of like not taking damage, which is probably better. I, I gave her the Earth because I figured like you know more HP and more uh, and more defense, which is good. <laughs> Oh, this game I'll never play. Is it a mobile one, probably? Is this pan only one? Oh yeah, which one's that? Oh, mobile. <laughs> Mobile Japan when you double whammy of awful. Probably a gacha game. Services discontinued, yeah. That's always fun too. Million memories. <laughs> like, ironically, there's not a million memories made.
I have to take more damage. Celebrate! Oh no, he's slower. Whatever shall we do? He's got the attack blocker, right? Not nullifies physical attacks. So it's definitely good to have on Virginia now. <laughs> and she's got that defender one, which, yeah. She had an ally from physical attacks. <laughs> Probably not the best thing. So let's watch the, swap those two around. points. Oh, I guess it reverses them. Is this some disease? Well, I haven't gotten hit with disease yet, so... Best memory. Usually these have different colors, so it's probably based on the elements or something. Right through it. His USB and all the parts written upside down. <laughs> yeah, I got a level CD, right? The joys. This jet is faster than the books now. Use a BSU port. It's a special, uh, special version of USB. Okay, I guess once you analyze them, you can actually just hit triangle on them. So probably a good idea to analyze every enemy we run into at least once. Yeah, fire. Not surprising.
Does that mean do it any damage? This one's green, so it's gotta be something special in this one. Oh, Brun statue. Looks as if it might crumble to pieces anytime. I'm kind of rating this is uh, kind of high. <laughs> the battles aren't very uh, quick either, so. It's behind the times. Want to freeze Gallows' ass? Shouldn't you have a turn yet? I'm gonna say. She usually goes first. All I know is Clive is always last. <laughs> it's way too slow. Pretty much. But I mean, he has like a friggin' beast. <laughs> to, like murder whatever he hits at the end. Just... Change the order. He changed the order in terms of speed, so I didn't. <laughs> Both books. It's not dead. But like one hit point away from death. No, I'm not. I don't control the camera at all in the battle. I don't know if there's even a way of me controlling the camera. <laughs> three to five. Eh, for me, three to five is kind of average. It's like an okay game. Nothing terrible, but nothing, nothing like fantastic either. So it's, you know, there might be some like annoying elements kind of thing, or the game kind of gets very repetitive. It's basically a game that, you know, if I if I if I wasn't playing it for RPG Quest, I probably I would probably play a bunch of it and then just like get bored of it and just move on to something else. You know, it's average. Two out of five is one of those games you rent for a weekend and you know <laughs> return it as ASAP. One out of five is like stay very, very far away. Four, 4 out of 5 is a game I'd probably play a lot of and just, you know, with, with some some minor annoyances, but 5 out of 5, of course, would have been, like, cream of the crop. Yeah, but again, you know, those ratings are all personal ratings, right? <laughs> and the ratings definitely change over time. As in, you know, like, my, my tastes change over time.
Yeah, the battle. Like, I control the camera outside of battle, like right here. But in battle, yeah, it does whatever the hell it wants to do. But of course, yeah, I mean, don't, don't think my ratings is, is you know, fact. <laughs> my ratings all personal opinion, so... I didn't analyze. I did analyze. Okay, it's weak to ice. Don't have enough ice power yet. Whopping six damage. Take that. And she's poisoned. God damn, that poison does so much fucking damage. I'll have to put like a new entry in Metacritic for land score. It supersedes everything else. God damn it. I got two people poisoned. I don't have a cure ability. I need to kill these guys ASAP. <clears throat> so we're going to be going through antidotes often. Yeah, because I was able to go through this door here. I just I went this way first, so this is just a big long corridor that sends us all the way back here. Uh, where did I come out of from? Yeah, I came out of this one. It's up here. Books, runes of memory. Fruits of ancient technology have been excavated from ruins all over Felgaia. Many of these historic rare items, such as the giant's rock, excavated from the earth layer for the great ancient were well preserved here. This place is called the Ruins of Memory. All the relics on display have been carefully restored. Please be careful not to touch the relics. Somebody touched the relics. Foreign technology. Technology is not something that necessarily evolves or improves over time. It may stem from an advent of a genius, or perhaps from the fruition of time and effort. Technology may make great strides during times of war, when unexpected innovations are invented. In fact, many highly advanced technologies artifacts have been excavated from certain layer of the Earth. A layer which dates back to approximately 1,000 years. According to folklore, this coincides with the period of Dark Ages, a great war with a demon broke out. A period where war necessitated technology. New methods of destruction were invented one after the other. The technology revolution finally came to an end when the world could no longer connote this technology. In other words, the destruction of civilization. The lost demi-humans. Who are these demi-humans that appear in historical records? They're said to have resembled humans, but possess great power unknown to man. They were said to have synchronized with nature to perform incredible feats. Similarities between demi-humans and Baskar, believers of guardians, are noted. Nothing can compare to the scope of their power. Who were these demi-humans that were said to exist in Felgaia? Where did they come from and why did they appear? Or disappear? <sighs> so anyway, you get a... You drop a bomb and then you get attacked right afterwards. So you're, you're kind of stuck in this limbo of like, alright, you gotta put the bomb back down. <laughs> Yeah, the encounter seems a little heavy on the, on the heavy side in this game. I mean, you can kind of mitigate it a little bit using the, the whole, you know, dodge combat thing, but until we get our MTC up. <laughs> or not the MTC, the ECN up or whatever. It's like we'll be able to dodge many battles. And 
shit took a massive damage chunk there. Moitered. Got the slave. It's gonna do any damage when you open up those explosive ones. That's, they don't seem to be taking any damage. Yeah, exactly. Or you're about to hit the uh, zone border, or you do like a uh, personal action or something like that. Like, you know, like you know, um, this thing's about to hit a, a, a switch or whatever. <laughs> Memo pen. A growth egg. What are these things? That's personal skills that nullifies amnesia. <laughs> You want to give that to? Mm, probably good to give it to a healer. Here's NPC by one. Done. Uh, mm. Be the most likely to use that. Let's go to Jet. How do we use that pen? He does indeed. Sealed by magic. We have to come back here later. Alright, I need a duplicator thing, don't I? Duplicator. Gonna change their order and do that after. Chandra, how's it going? It's one of your favorite games. It is a fun game. It's got fantastic music. It's got great story so far. It's gonna be good. Alright, let's change the party order around a bit here. Can we change the party order? Um there. Okay, let's put uh, Jet over here, Gallows over here. Alright, so now it should be at least an order of their speed. Not going quite good. Right, work week is done. Time to enjoy some some tasty RPGs. Internal Sparkle. Only a select few have actually come in contact with it. But one thing's for sure, it's much greater than any jewel or precious metal known to man. Wait, what are we letting him go up there first? <laughs> I 
Great power is bestowed upon the one who comes in contact with it. It grants a spear that can only that can destroy all life. That is the eternal sparkle's true essence. But that's all rubbish, if you ask me. There are, however, avaricious people in this sick world that would pay anything to get the grubby little hands on it. Chinus, what do you think you're doing? Oh my god, he's evil all along. Coming all this way, hired by some dubious blokes, covering myself in filthy dust. I guess you can call me avarice. Look at that evil smirk. Thank you, princess. I really enjoyed your company. Now, if I may, I must go cash in my treasure. Chanis, you tricked us. You double crosser. For the second time. Next time, I'll, I'll give you at least one more chance. <laughs> Trick you? Heavens no. Oh, I almost forgot my end of the bargain. This here is a shield, which bears the name of a demon. Hyrak Hyraco? It's kind of a good luck charm. Aside from Hyraco, there are two more shields, the Andro and the Creo. Eternal Sparkle is said to, to be sealed by all three. I now hold one of the three shields scattered throughout the world. The second one is currently being excavated, and the third one seems to be in the hands of a certain drifter. Of course, I plan on stealing that one in the near future. I'm sorry I made a fool out of you, but it's just, I was just doing my job. You do realize there's like, I don't know, four of us, and technically... Where did the other two guys go, by the way? <laughs> so Janice is here, the other two are just an MIA. Are they inside of him? As I told you before, we drifters are neither good nor evil. We're either winners or losers. It seems like a great... It's a great idea. I always keep a picture of Satan in my wallet. I'll make your way before I'm forced to hurt you. I tried my best to trust you. All my comrades had doubts, and yet I went ahead and joined forces with you. I wanted to try my best to believe. I wanted so badly to trust, and then... Save the sob story, princess. That's just how the game's played in the wasteland. Don't anyone make a mockery of people who are trying so hard. <sighs> That's what I like about you, princess. But the thing is, you're starting to get on my nerves. You're rubbing me the wrong way by carrying all that inexperienced weight into the wasteland. You remind me of my youth, back when I was still green. You're just a reflection of the old me. You're the figment of my past. Now watch as I trample over you. There you go. Pull yourself together and shut your fly. What? <laughs> I'm good to go, boss. <laughs> Romero, don't be shaking your boots. I love how his fly is still open. All set to go, boss. Prepare to execute the Trinity. We can go all out here. The Trinity. The Trinity? What are you planning to do? Unlike your inexperienced team, we're about to perform a feat that defines the word experience. We have areas of Beelzebub, Asmodeum, and Lucifer. Good icebreaker with people. <laughs> Just accidentally drop it out of your wallet. You're, you're taking out a picture of your, your loved ones. It's a triple dose of combination attacks, but I think you'll have a better taste for it once you experience it. Alright. Fun times. Uh, which one was the worst one last time? I don't know. Let's just concentrate on one dude for now. Get her FP up. Don't be causing me trouble. Oh, I just wasted his turn healing him for 300. He is capable of healing his comrades, regardless of whose turn it is. This is nerve. Okay, so I guess he's just gonna heal <laughs> constantly, so I guess we gotta kill him first. Oh. Clive's gonna be hurt pretty badly there. 81 damage? Doesn't too bad. Yeah, he's just constantly healing whoever takes damage, so. Guess we're hitting him first.
It's got infinite stock of heal berries. That's not fair. <laughs> Zips up. <laughs> there he is, shielded by berry that reduces attack damage. Alright. Okay, now that we got some stuff here. Hmm. Clab. Shield is the physical attacks, right? Getting your FP up. Okay, doesn't heal himself, luckily. 200 damage. Sniper Shark XR. Oh, no crit from Clive. I didn't have enough ammo to do that. <laughs> All the good memories. Force level up. Oops. That's gonna hurt. Virginia's defense sucks. Well, actually hurt less than when he hit Clive. I'm gonna be late. There we go, Romero. You two hold them off. I'll go in, back and report. Now they're actually gonna attack. But boss, that's suicide. You know we can't use the Trinity without you. You're using us as pawns so you can make your escape. Quit your whining. If I don't bring back the Hiroko shield, who will? Listen up. Once in your life, fight like you've never fought before. If you're still alive, meet me at the usual place. So, so it's just you and me, huh, bro? You know, I've read somewhere that in times of crisis, people have the power to accomplish the impossible. Let's do or die now. Let's go all out, or else the boss will have our heads for sure. It's gonna take a burning house for me to build up that power. It ain't gonna amount to much. Anyway, let's just make sure we don't die out here. It's the best we can do. Alright. Um, I build my FP and just use that. tried that one yet. Defense, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Might as well just shoot him. There's no point in using magic attacks. Ok, 
Okay, need to get our ammo back on everybody. <laughs> for her. At least these things don't seem to do a lot of damage. Yet. the hell of it go in there and just punch him in the face. Wah! If only our boss were here, you guys would have been dead meat. Sounds like an excuse from a sore loser. I'm sure there's more than where that came from. Aw, oh, get off your high horse. How much you regret you ever met us? <laughs> I was just running in place. Oh, we got a duplicator. We can go back to that uh, chest. Those guys make me sick to my stomach. What's the matter? Oh, I'm sorry. If only I hadn't trusted them. Hell say. <laughs> you cannot let mistakes here and there let you or get you down. Just remember, you are the team leader. You're right. The Eternal Sparkle really is such a deadly artifact. We can't let them have it. And from what Janice was saying, they haven't obtained all the shields yet, right? And if we act now, we can still stop those thugs from obtaining the Eternal Sparkle. Most likely. And what are we doing standing around with our heads hung low? Let's go back to the Jelly Roger and find out more about the remaining shields. He's gonna boot us out of the dungeon. <laughs> Damn it. Back in we go, I guess. The one time I don't want it to... to <laughs> You know, it's like sometimes when you're deep in a dungeon and the game, like, forces you to run back out, and then there's cases like this where it's like, here's an item that can unlock this chest you just passed by. And now you gotta go back through the dungeon to get to that chest. Hooray! Hopefully the uh, shortcut is still unlocked. Okay, good. This is the... There's bookshelves on this side. Didn't read these books.
enfin... Laura paints a vivid picture of invasion. Her forefathers recounted the fear of demons who were coveted or covered in steel with blood of mercury. The demons massacred the multitude of light forms and brought up mass destruction with flames of atrocity. As time passes, we have begun to utilize the artifacts they left behind, as if we are now the spawn of demons. As long as we are human, we must embrace our prestige as a human race and live proudly and accordingly. Might, this might interest you. Maybe it will. Sealed by magic. What? Ooh. Ugh. So we can either use duplicator for this or we can use it for the chest. Ah. Give on coin time. Plenty of Gimel coins, might as well use them. Try talking to Armengard every day to see what she says. Okay, well, I can just write that down. Who's Armengard? <laughs> I'm assuming reading the book doesn't matter there as long as you've got the information. Try talking to Armengard every day. Calendar later? Probably nobody I've met yet. Definitely a waste of a duplicator, anyways. Technically a voice waste of a DML coin, but whatever. Gonna watch that intro again and grab a drink real quick. It's worth rewatching this intro every time. It is different from the one we saw at the beginning, isn't it? It's like slightly different. Yeah, it's definitely different. Yeah. I mean, the music is the same, but you like the cutscenes, you see a lot of the same stuff, but like they're in different order or whatever. That song is missing is whistling. Isn't the Japanese version of this one? Mercy only mentioned like the, and I think I looked it up on on YouTube. Like the Japanese version, of this one is has like whistling that doesn't have vocals but has whistling or something. And then the North American one, they have vocals or something. Okay, is there is a variation. Okay, I'm sure we'll run into it at some point. I like, I like crazy stories. As long as it's not like your typical... As long as it's not like uh, Legend of... Like Legaia 2, which had the most... Just like generic... You know, stereotypical JRPG story ever. <laughs> it sucks. Why doesn't it just offer you like... 
that book there offered us to use the duplicator, but this one's like, no, you gotta go in there and use it manually. Name tags that just let us rename things. Huh, okay, well that doesn't that's not worth a duplicator either. <laughs> I don't want to rename NPCs. We're saving the duplicator. <laughs> Baby. Good old Garden's Crusade. You know it. Let's see if there's anything over here. We have the we have the, the cutscene and the fight, but maybe there's something back here afterwards. <clears throat> yeah. Can't do anything with these other things, can we? Alright, guess we're running back. There's books or else would have attacked the books. Here's the books come before the skeletons on the uh, weapon on the enemy list. Yeah, this thing's hit for way too much. That time I actually did take damage from that exploding chest. <clears throat> Every time Clive, Clive opens those exploding ones, he doesn't seem to take damage. Whee! Run away! damage. Mm, no. It's gonna heal, but... I love those crits when they happen.
Oh, headshot. <clears throat> nope. Alright. We've got this Clive. Shit, disarmed. Clive's level 10. Yeah, I know, right? Five plus crit equals best. We definitely need to pump some more money into his into his weapon. Of course, we have that five thousand bucks going towards that uh, world screen thing or whatever it is. Yeah. Wait. zoom out. <laughs> Automatic, I guess. The camera just does what the hell it wants to do. Got him to attack that same dude. <laughs> Whopping zero damage from the caterpillar attack. Clyde just takes one down by himself. <clears throat> Clyde's showing off there. I'm sure there's nothing new that spawned after that encounter, but obviously we have to go back to town. Preemptive strike. <laughs> Point blank range. Yeah, Baz. It's great. <clears throat> great music. Great characters. Fun game. Lots of just constant pinging around. <laughs> this is the one part that I could do without. But, you know. You gotta, you gotta make sure you don't miss anything. You gotta constantly ping everywhere you go. Just in case they spawned a new piece of treasure on the way back or something. Definitely a fun game. Alright. Uh, let's go buy that... This thing here before I spend money on anything else. <laughs> World screen. Yeah. 10, 20, 30. Oh, hi there. Well, that? I was just checking my inventory of antidotes. Let's keep a couple of handy items stashed in my pouch, my hat, and in my shoes, because you never know when you might need them. Those aren't my regular merchandise. Well, most of them, anyways. <laughs> in years, you're your an edgelord. I'm sure you would enjoy it now. It's a lot of fun. And the music, oh, the music, too good. All right, let's, uh, well, less money we have, might as well upgrade our weapons a bit. It's gonna take a while to get the 15 dragon fossils or whatever we need for that uh, ship. <laughs> Probably not something you get until much later. Alright, um. Probably a good idea to upgrade her weapons, because her, her weapons do nothing. But I only have enough to, like, upgrade one person's sh One person's shit. I want to upgrade Vernia's shit. We want to upgrade Clive's shit. <laughs> so you can do even more damage. Upgrade other things. 
think three bullets is enough for now. Crit. <clears throat> Give him a better chance of critting. It's only 300. Yeah. I mean, she's definitely not designed for for, for damage. I think I need to upgrade uh, Jet, though. There. Upgrade this shit a little bit there. Anything else to sell? Oh, yeah, we got the Gala card. Hmm. I mean, uh, I'm sure at some point this will be useful. I didn't think of it checking the boss, actually. I didn't know how much money we got from that boss, but... That's probably what you want to use that on as a boss. Some little, that or if you find some sort of enemy that just drops a whole whack of gold. If I sell it now... <laughs> I can get enough to buy one more one more shit upgrade. Let's just sell these. I need to kill enemies more with uh, my my magic attacks to get more of those gems. They definitely don't give you a lot of money in this. Like, do enemies even drop money? They seem to just drop items. You just get item money from like chests and from selling things. New creatures aren't happy, they lend no ears to the plight of ships. These days, land routes are more practical than sea ones. It's safer to take a train. The land station is northwest. All right. Ever since monsters started showing up, they can't repair the trains quickly enough, so right now they just go west. Longo, the place where it's central junction for railways from all over Felgaia. You know, I better write down that whole 15 dragon <clears throat> uh, fossil thing there. The sand ship. I'm totally gonna forget. Uh, 15 dragon fossils. Oops. Sand ship at Jolly Roger. And we have what, two still? I don't think I picked up any more. Yeah, we got two. Genus Cascade, a handsome, capable man, but he puts it all to waste. A drifter who only listens to himself might sound cool and all, but the man is just a ravenous bully. I'm not the most streetwise person, but I think he should steer clear of that scum. Yeah, thanks for telling us now. All drifters are do-getters. <clears throat> 180? That's not fair at all. Didn't you charge us like 120 last time? Checked up the prices. Like 120 or 150 or something. Let's go freeze that cat again. Pull up the cat. Bye bye, kitty. So fun. Your kitty sickle. Oh, the difference between the birds that stay put and the ones that migrate. It's how they use their wings. They may be hunting for treasure or out searching for themselves, but the wings of a drifter never go to waste. They're always up finding a new way. Alright, let's go to the northwest, I guess. Did I check those barrels? Oh, just get. <laughs> Another place like the Ruins of Memory out west. Mm -hmm. Heading west will take you to the region of Westwood, and it's just we're going by rail. It used to be covered in green there. Still make a living re raising horses. To the west. I 
I definitely need to talk to every NPC in order to unlock new areas. I mean, I usually do anyways, but this game is especially important. Uh, west is this way. I can even go to the west. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot I upgraded uh, Jet's attack too, so... We go back this way. Definitely very weak to the water. It's going to be something here. Nothing's telling us to go this way, but, you know. It's like going to a dead end inside of a dungeon. You expect to be treasure. We found an enemy that's actually slower than Clyde. Pretty sad. <clears throat> so I'm assuming that station is near the railroad at some point. <laughs> Just a hunch on that one. Oh, found it. Midland Station. We'll see if I can find any more of that, like that treasure I found there that had like twelve hundred bucks. <laughs> Need more of that.
Oh, probably. Wouldn't be surprised. It's like a sandworm just waiting to spring out. It's like the reverse for Tremors of Tremors. We gotta keep making sound to keep it away. Otherwise it'll just like chomp us. Alright, well, <clears throat> doesn't seem to be anything else. To the station. <clears throat> Why don't we raise that ETC thing again? I think we have to find items for it or whatever. Manual, manual, manual. Engage the display in the top left. There are three ways to refill and counter engage, resting Indians collecting white gems or by engaging battles. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you avoid the white. Exclamation mark, but make one double your party and the enemy will be compared. I guess the micro double is just that thing where we just gotta keep leveling up our. Yeah, it's different than the NTC, right? The NTC is the one. There's like too many different stat things in this game. The NTC is the one where we like raise our summon. Like we have to keep using summons or whatever. I don't know how you raise your migrant level. <coughs> Walking rhythm. I keep forgetting there's an auto battle system in this too. NTC material. Material counts may use summon in battle. How many material counts you possess? A number in right in case of maximum. In number left clearance level, you will recover if you lodge. In it. So I'm assuming like I'm assuming that like that one there is the uh, in the top left corner is our um, current migration gauge or whatever. But mention the man will mention a migrant level. Doesn't say. I'm assuming that. It's probably based on story, like that, so, like certain parts of the story, your micro level goes up probably, something to that effect. <clears throat> Can't see anything in the manual about it though, so yeah, it's probably based somewhere or says somehow on. Your uh, point in the story. That are those items you find to raise it. But either way. Oh, yeah, we also have that call whistle. You can call on horses. But that's consumable, I think, right? Oh, yeah, we have the uh, world map, too. I forgot. <laughs> we just bought the world map. Select to display the map. Let's use that. I forgot about the world screen. There we go. We got a map. XY. It's a very accurate XY, which means there's probably some sort of... Uh, it's probably some sort of, like, secret... Not secret, but... Um, treasure. <clears throat> You're gonna have to, like, find a specific coordinates to find some treasure or something. There's gonna be hints saying, hey, you know, go to these coordinates and ping for treasure. Yeah, I'm happy I'm not working tomorrow, Killer Knight. 
I'm sure the the traffic's gonna suck tomorrow in Ottawa. It's gonna be horrible. So definitely not sad to be off tomorrow. Millennium Puzzle, Telepath Tower. There's Westwood. We said like a waypoint or anything though. So this is what our five thousand bucks buys us. <laughs> I wonder if the the visible stuff is stuff we pinged or just stuff we actually walked on. Yeah, probably. It's conveniently, right? <clears throat> so we'll find it when we go to the Westland. So let's not ping when we go to the Westland and check our map. Let's go to the station. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy downtown. Imagine doing any sort of driving there is just gonna be hell. <clears throat> it's a very tiny station compared to the size of us. We're giants. Midland Station. How much is it going to cost? Take a. I think we're riding with a guy railways. Where are you heading today? 120 bucks. Yeah. It's a one time thing. You can call it Chocobo. I don't know, I'm assuming this gets rid of encounters when you're using a horse. Because otherwise, what would be the point, right? Timetable for Bulgaria Railways is displayed on discolored board of plain wood. Ah, oh, I love the train rides. Not a monster in sight. So you can just sleep till you get there. Poor train, Chris need to purchase a ticket of the station attendant. He's a little hard to find, but the attendant can be found right next to the entrance. He's a little hard to find, but he's right there. <clears throat> Wanna read the signs? Legend of Philagaya, Legend of Gaia 3. Midland Station, Westland Direction, Eastland Direction. <laughs> I specify it's the land direction, not the east sea location direction. The austerely constructed hut is decorated with a sign saying that only employees may enter. The windows are somewhat dirty. I suppose there's only so much one man can handle. Westwood. Choo choo. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Where was that? Okay. Thought we already had arrived. Are you ready to depart? Just give us the word and we'll get going. I should have chatted with him. He had here. You're unwholesomely into birds and wings. I uh, don't think so. <laughs> it's not yet. I haven't seen anything anything weird like that. Guess we'll find out eventually. Staff only. Platform ticket. Oh yeah, I mean I'm still very early in the game, right? This is gonna be like a fifty plus hour game. Some passengers today. I'm glad the group, that, group, that group decided to use our station. I suppose the village nearby has some kind of fair. I've heard. If you haven't heard, east of here is a village called Clareborn. It's a nice place to visit if you don't mind the long walk. It's right where the tracks start to curve. They're famous for their horses. Here they train them to be both obedient and strong. 
be the perfect place if it wasn't for one thing. Saloon Mistress's Scowl. <clears throat> it's kind of weird you always gotta, like, talk to NPCs and get locations of towns. <laughs> Otherwise you're not finding those towns. It's so weird playing an RPG where you can't just walk. It's like, oh look, let's go this way for a town. Alright, let's uh, pull up the map and... Yeah, okay, so just walking on the square reveals that pinging isn't required. Figured as much, but... Now what if I ping? Does it... No, it doesn't... Display the... the surroundings. Well, there's party members who are constantly making bird and flight metaphors in your early game. Nah, I don't think it's this one. I don't remember any of our party members mentioning anything about birds or having a bird fetish. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? Dryad? Fordage? Or Fordarge? Gotta have those, uh, those bird fetishes. Snipe that bird. Bird sniped. Bantry is supposed to be doing. Now, Clive never seems to take damage from those. Maybe it's just a chance of happening. Although I guess when it explodes, you lose whatever treasure could have been in there anyway, so... That's probably what, what happens. You don't actually take damage, but the item is gone. But if I would have left alone, it would have been gone anyway, so... Oceanberry, what? Here, have this. Disease me. Hopefully we get it back if we uh, kill the, the thing that's stolen. Okay, yeah, so steals from you and runs away. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, pretty much. What's the Z's doing this? Uh, disease. You will not be able to recover HP other than staying in. You will not be able to re use recovery items, magical power, or gems by vitality. Yeah. Seems like most of the status effects in this game suck. <laughs> I mean, status effects generally do suck, but a lot of games they're for a lot of games the status effects are very minor. Like at the end of the battle, they're gone. This one, nope. <laughs> this one, you're just gonna you're gonna hate life if you get hit with the status effect. Must find treasure. <clears throat> oh my god, he's actually faster than these monsters. Sweet sign. Whatever it was supposed to do, it missed. These things are weak to fire. They look like plants. <laughs> yep. Absorb water. Seems like most enemies are weak to fire, but you know, Clive's gun does way more damage than his fire attack.
even though that crit, because it's like extra damage, amnesia gas. <laughs> uh, now Clive's already the highest level, right? So. Pretty ironic, the amnesia gas trap has something that gets rid of amnesia. for him. Oh, we got a Gimon coin, though. I guess the map's good just to make sure you, like, hit every spot, too. <laughs> I mean, I like smack that ping button often enough. As long as it's revealed on my map, it means I probably pinged it. The ping area seems to be bigger than the area of the actual square on the map, so. Healing for you. Just a little critical hit there. Yeah, yeah, it seems like magic is really kind of a. Uh, seems to kind of suck. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want to uh, use water. <laughs> you get that extra... Get that extra, like, gem if you kill something with, with water or with magic as well. Booby trap. Disarmed. Two people's fates crossing cannot be foretold. So buy now what you need later, or else you'll find yourself scouring the merchant again. Alan Smithy. Yeah, it's done very similarly to the uh, cell shading in uh, Dragon Quarter, but you know, this game doesn't suck, so. <laughs> <clears throat> kobold? That's a weird ass looking kobold. Leyline Cannon. Ow! Uh, so weak to wind.
Ow, what the fuck? <clears throat> Wow, he's weak to wind, zero damage. Uh, I don't think we should be in this area. <laughs> Something tells me we shouldn't be here. Okay, he has a thing against Clive, doesn't he? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> we should not be here at 1200. I just I just realized this helped. It's like, yeah, this is no. This is a runaway from the battle kind of encounter. Did we run away again? Uh, is there a runaway option? This will be fun. <clears throat> Am I just missing the option for fleeing, or is there just no option for fleeing? <laughs> what kind of game does not flee? Let's double check the manual. Oh, this is a weird key combination you gotta press. I tried the, the other buttons, but. Say anything about There's nothing about fleeing, so I guess you can't flee from battles. Well, that's gonna be fun. So we're basically screwed here. <laughs> can't run away, and these things are dealing massive amounts of damage. And I can do like no damage. Later is not when I need it. <laughs> I need it now. Yeah, I'm like doing nothing here. Fuck. The fact that I'm using magic that is weak to and doing like no damage is, uh, yeah. Live. <laughs> I'm not getting shot now, Clive. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> One shotted. Not so much for. There goes my healer. Give him a coin real quick. Alright, good. Good jet. <laughs> Is 
This thing has like 1200 health. Like, what the hell? It's gonna take a while. effect. I guess an earth-based attack. Good to know. I got enough to heal now. Too much of a chance to test that yet. Most enemies usually uh, don't last long enough for me to get enough FP to really do much. I guess not, because Virginia had that ability already and it just missed her, so. So that doesn't stack at least. At the moment, actually, no, Clive does. How's the enemy doing? <laughs> Got a long way to go. Fuck. I mean, I love how it's weak to to to, to like wind, but I can't do any wind damage to him. Let's try decelerating him into. There's nothing that reduces magic resistance, is there? Get there eventually. Just need to get a good crit from Clive or something. good. <laughs> Luckily that that's considered magic, so she can actually survive that now. <laughs> that magic resistance. Oh, come on. Clive, you're not supposed to miss, buddy. <laughs> we need you to not miss. Definitely need to get it out of here as soon as I kill this guy because man, <laughs> this random encounter is absolutely kicking my ass here. I'm not sure if this is like a rare enemy in this area or just like we're just in an area that we should really not be in at the moment. Oh, 
That hurt. God damn it, Clive, stop missing. Dude. And nobody else misses. Get the intact Virginian. I'm kind of running out of uh, revive items here. So. Although Clive can revive, I guess. Okay, I'm doing less damage. <laughs> My damage is going down. And Clive keeps fucking missing. Maybe, maybe his... Yeah, maybe the damage reduction thing went off. Uh, keep her on healing duty, because... As much healing as we can get. Tank blocker kicked in for once. I think it's still active. Yeah, I don't know why we're just doing like next to no damage. The summon. <laughs> I'll get my FP up to max and then try summon. Come on, Clive, hit him. Hit him. Yeah, probably. He's using Earth. Oh, come on. Yeah, you know, it's because the he's already under the effect of the spell, so it's gonna miss him if he's already on the effect of it. Ow! Crit for fifty-eight damage. <laughs> Crit for zero damage. I mean, he has Earth base, so it makes sense that Gallows currently has Earth. Maybe putting Earth on Clive, might, or uh, Wind on Clive, would be a good idea. Nah. Heal. Finally hit something. <laughs> the miracle. The longest battle in the game. Just a random encounter. Need to heal five too, no no. Clive. I do have 57 FP, so I can use that uh, a double damage, 100% chance of hitting, whatchamacallit thing. Alright, let's try the summon. Lock on. Okay. 
skills has tons of hit points, but... Ah, Speed Ripper. <laughs> Even in max FP, it only did 300 damage. Just say it. Man. Are we there yet? Almost there. It's like I'm doing anything with Kalos anyways. I can't do any damage to him. Thank you so much for the seven months of awesome support. Somebody always wanted to play this game. I'm hitting up some old games lately. A little Dragon Quest series, something. Oh, it's going pretty good. Yeah, play all the Dragon Quest games. It's a fantastic idea. And there's so many Dragon Quest games I haven't even had a chance to touch yet. I mean, especially considering we never got six or five in North America, and I never played those on the uh, the DS. So. so five and six will be fun to try when I get to those in a million years from now. Eight is... It is one of the few that I played quite a bit of way back in the day when it first came out. I don't remember much about it at this point, but I remember having a lot of fun with 8, so fun to play that one again. I haven't played anything past uh, 8. I haven't played 9 or, well, obviously not 10 or 11. So many good games in that series. I keep young Gallows up because he desperately needs help. You just keep guarding so you don't die. And you keep punching. All I know is I went to a I, I went to a bad area <laughs> and I'm getting massacred by this random enemy. And you can't run away from battles, at least not at the point I'm at right now, so I'm basically very slowly but surely whittling away at at this guy's health. Uh Personally, not yet. Uh, for Dragon, for for uh, fat, uh, well, for uh, RPG Quest, and definitely not yet. But I have played the Dragon Quest Monsters games, so one and two Dragon Quest Monsters I've played. So basically the same thing, right? Let's use a heal berry here because I can't, I can't heal him more than he's damage. The damage is taken. This enemy, enemy always seems to concentrate like on a certain character and just keep going at that character over and over for some weird reason. See, that would have been a good time to hit Gallows. Because <laughs> he would have done no damage to Gallows, but no. Clive, you got this. Nope, you do not. <laughs> Need more FP so I can actually hit him with that ability here. <sighs> Reload. Ow. Nice, got his FP to 25. Alright, so this should be the last attack here. That's not really cell shading, though. I mean, they, they literally just have, like, normal textured characters, but then they just throw this thick, black, 
outline behind around the characters. But only the characters, not the enemies. So it's like it's, it's good giving it the pseudo kind of cell shading look, but I mean the texture is like the characters have textures. <laughs> and then you have this kind of weird kind of canvassy comic book style kind of filter over them you can kind of see on on them there i'm not sure how well that carries through with the uh, the capture and stream and all that stuff but you got kind of that weird comic book filter similar to what uh, valkyria chronicles has on the uh, the ps3 so it's kind of a weird look but it looks good all right you you final hit. You're funny if he died there. I mean, how long is this battle thing going? Like half an hour? <laughs> Just this one monster that can't run away from. So yeah, that's kind of scary. I mean, I usually don't run away from battles. Oh, come on. That wasn't enough to kill him. I usually don't run away from battles, but... Uh, <laughs> you know, the one time I really would want to run away from this battle, the game's like, nah, that's not a thing in this game. Five, well. <laughs> it's almost dead. Just need one more hit. Yeah, it's like, better not kill Virginia. Alright, Jet. Should be able to do five damage, right? Watch him do four. Three, come on. The enemy definitely seems to be getting tankier and tankier the less health it has. Fucking hell, that was just, that was not fun. <laughs> let's get a whole bunch of XP though. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. We definitely don't belong here. Please don't be the same enemy. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Back to normal enemies. I don't know if that was just like a really unlucky like enemy encounter or just we just somehow hit like an enemy that we shouldn't have hit. I bet you it was the enemy from like below the cliffs that we probably weren't supposed to actually get, but you know, it's kind of like the original Final Fantasy where you go to a spot where you can like if you go just like this little corner in a in a continent or something, you're hitting enemies from across like the the mountain range, and they're like way tougher. Definitely, I mean, that, I'm sure that thing was harder than any boss we're going to encounter anytime soon. That's for sure. That's just a stupid, <laughs> stupidly hard uh, random encounter. Find this damn town somewhere. <clears throat> Release some treasure or something. Nope, oh, friggin' sign. <laughs> Sign, sign, everywhere is sign. Yeah, you definitely can't go wrong with the whistling. Yeah, Virginia didn't get enough uh, vitality to recover her health there. Yeah, that's what it felt like. It felt like it was just something that was way tougher than what we should have encountered. Especially the fact that, you know, let us actually walk that area. So. Definitely want to get away from that area, just in case. <laughs> Luckily, I was, I was able to, like, not wipe. So I don't know what happens if you wipe with a Gimel coin. Like, does it, like, Gimel coins allow you to continue, but... 
does it allow you to does it just like restart the battle or does it just kind of like revert to before the battle because <laughs> if it just restarts the battle then we're kind of screwed anyways it's going to coin to save when inside a town of ruins then when you load the data you'll start at the last point you change maps rather than lament the restored traps think of it as another chance to solve their mystery Wait, so it'll, like, reset the, uh, puzzles and stuff? That doesn't sound fun. <laughs> do this, don't do that, can't you read the sign? Bam. It's a good thing we've got lots of ammo in this game. <clears throat> Should heal, uh... Since we're not gonna get our HP back with, uh, Vitality. <laughs> I am Wrecked him. Not amnesia. The memo pen. <clears throat> What's the memo pen for again? Okay, so it does, it does seem to be a different effect each time. It's just like a random one. Because the other one was, uh... No, no, it was amnesia as well, okay. I guess for the amnesia, we should uh, use Virginia since she has maxed it. Actually, sure I should begin Clive the uh, poison first. Every square. Every time the camera pans around, it's like I'm hoping not to see that stupid cobalt again. No, we might look at the camera pan and we get like three cobalts. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm screwed. Oh, oh that actually, our status ward prevented the. Um, disease there. Yep, booby trap. Well, it just blows up the treasure, right? So... Yeah, at least put some more points of interest. <laughs> some random treasure or something, you know, be a little more interesting.
slightly destroyed. Back up the uh, nope. <laughs> oh, sign. <laughs> Trying to read the sign, cut it. There's no point in healing him. Nobody could leap across this ravine. If only we had something faster and stronger, we could travel to the lands beyond. What about a horse? <laughs> Horsey? Have a great night. I know, right? We're totally not going to give him another chance, right? Right, Virginia? Right. I mean, just this one last time. You know, maybe, maybe he's he's reformed his ways. <laughs> Can't possibly back us back that of us three times in a row, can he? Actually, that town's supposed to be. I guess he did mention another town, but should have unlocked it once he mentioned it to us. Run out of places to the ping here. I'm kind of scared of going towards where we fought that kobold, but. I think I just got really unlucky with that. Oh, my peppy acorn. Oh, my seed powder. No idea what the hell peppy acorn and seed powder is for. <laughs> well, let me get it back. Good. Wait, I'm assuming we get it back when we... Okay, good. <laughs> when we kill them. The sea. Peppy, peppy, peppy. We get one of these stolen, which kind of sucks. Or they can steal like dragon fossils and world screen. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck? Okay. Misery. No. Nope. Right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did say where the track kind of bends. So. And isn't the kobold like right over there? <laughs> it's 
kind of scary. Scarily close. Alright. Cla Claiborne. these boxes. Bye, Proof. Yeah, I kind of need to restock on this. <laughs> kind of used a few during that stupid cobalt fight. The Madden of the Saloon is named after Myra, and she's some character. <laughs> kind of poses that. She always irritated and edgy. She doesn't treat her little niece very nicely, either. Her name's Martina. It's just so disheartening to see her put in an unjust situation. It ain't her fault, you know? I uh, had a word with Myra about the way she treats her niece, and she snapped at Martina, thinking she ratted on her. It's terrible, I tell ya. with mini carrots before. I never use them. I can find them. <laughs> mini, 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 mini. Where is it? Right here. Oh, yeah. FPH. Yeah, this part right here. Wasteland. Did you enjoy traveling by train? Once you reach your destination and step off the train, a whole new world opens up. Do you have anything new to buy? Should we back up on these things? We still have, we still have uh, disease, right? So, although I think staying at the end should fix that. Yeah, we definitely don't get uh, a lot of money from fighting things. Money is very slow to come by. Three estimates. Which means upgrading my shit would be uh, kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Not yet, they haven't. Oops, quickly fast, but I just pick up. <laughs> Whatever it was, we already had one. I think. Maybe we should sell this Gela card. I mean, doubles an enemy's Gela, but. I mean. It's going to be a while before we get to a point where where we find an enemy that gives us at least 1500 bucks. <laughs> it's probably some rare enemies. I mean, that Kobold, which is like super tough, was like 100-something Gela. So, I mean, it's probably special enemies, you know. This game's equivalent of, you know, uh, golden... <laughs> golden golems or whatever. That drop tons of money, but... Dead will be finding something to draw 1500 for a while now. I can definitely use the money right now. Mm. Screw it. Sell it right now. Alright, uh, let's upgrade Gallows. Let's give them some shit here. Oops. There's a pretty low crit chance. Definitely got the worst crit chance. Should upgrade his crit. Okay. 
probably increase his hit chance too, because definitely was missing a lot during that Cobalt fight. He's the only one who was missing. Screw it. I mean, it's so much money to upgrade our shit. You know, if I find anything that drops good money, I'll be grinding on those things. <laughs> because it's obviously where we need to go. Even though you may be drifters, there's no way you can take this guy. I highly recommend y'all ride horsies to get around the, the wasteland. I have four horsies that just turned two years old this year, so give me a holler if you're interested. 2,000 gala for four of my top notch horses. 2,000. This is like a permanent horse thing. I like the whistle. Hmm. Or you have to buy these first and then use the whistle. That's probably what it is. So the whistle right now by itself probably does nothing. Forges and bellows. Valuable steel is much stronger than hard steel. Think about it. No matter how solid or hard the steel is, once you apply heat and immediately cool it down, the composition deteriorates and the steel becomes brittle. If you don't believe me, try it. Try it on a sturdy monster called Trask. Trust me, it works. Right. <clears throat> right, so, so you use heat and then... So use fire and ice on this Trask enemy. Saddle, soap, and large brush are found inside the drawer. Well, this be in good condition. The stable keeper knows what he's doing. Oh, Gimel coin. We're gonna have like 99 Gimel coins by the end of this, aren't we? Unless the game difficulty spikes severely towards the end there. We get in there. Chicken feed covers the ground. Must be a roost for chickens. Heard about this town. It's famous for various crops and livestock. Horses. Spot up there. <clears throat> I know, right? It's RPG law. If it's not bolted down, it's ours. Even if it is bolted down, you can find a set of pliers, it's ours. Oop. I hate when I click too fast and it just. Like, I don't know what I just picked up. <laughs> On a uh, duplicator, I guess, because I only had one, so. That, or that was one of the previous finds. But assuming that's what we just found now. Secrets out in this paddock. Oh yeah, can change the one word that defines your existence. Your name. Let's change it to Virginia. Good name. I 
if it was just some random NPC in a hick town. It's like, yeah, let me rename you. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I can just walk up to anybody that I've never met before and say, hey, my name is, like, Bob, and, you know, hey, hey, Bob. <laughs> They're not going to know any better. Or would I need an NPC to tell me what my, what my new name is? And if you run to somebody who you've already encountered and you told them your, your original name, they're not going to suddenly know that your name is, like, Bob now. <laughs> so, and even if you told me, yeah, I changed my name. It's official. Go talk to this guy in this, like, heck town somewhere. He's the one who, you know, <laughs> changed our name for us. RPG logic. I love it. Welcome. Appreciate your patronage. My mom is usually in charge of the cooking, but she isn't here right now. Do you know will cater to your culinary needs? My mom is working elsewhere right now. Therefore, I must do my best to run the saloon until she comes back. Or if I haven't received any letters from her recently, I'm starting to get a little worried. I tried to expand the business, but it failed. Once, anyway, once my mom and I are able to pay Auntie back in her debts, Auntie said the saloon belonged to the three of us. <laughs> How hard it is to find a notary. Well, apparently that dude isn't a notary. <laughs> Horse. Horse Theft Saloon. <laughs> the weird dance name for saloon. Come to the saloon, we're gonna steal your horse. I don't even afford the saloon. With how little money, uh, like, how little money the game gives you in this. Like, you pretty much need to kill enemies using magic in order to get at least a little bit of coinage by selling those gems. Because them enemies do not drop money. Five. That's my entire money pool here. Grand Theft Equine. <clears throat> I mean, you basically made that with Red Dead Redemption. I don't know if it's Gella or Jella. I guess it's G, like a hard G, like gold. But it's just a guess. I mean, there's no voice acting in this, so. Although I don't know if there's any voice acting in the later, uh, later Wild Arms, if I do pronounce it at some point. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But is, is, is Gil Gil or Jill? <laughs> You know, I think most of us say gill, but it's a gilded. So yeah, it's very likely it's a gella, but he was duplicator. Yeah, that's what I figured, because I'm pretty sure I only had one duplicator. <clears throat> yes, I'm Martinez. I am. Can I help you? <coughs> ah, frog in the throat. Don't look at me like that. The saloon used to belong to her parents, but her father fell into debt from all the scambling. I put up the collateral to save this business. Now you owe me. They owe me. Looks like an evil stepmother. <laughs> so... Did we get anything in this town? <laughs> Anybody give us anything? I don't know. No points of interest. But you can't sell um, duplicators. I mean, I wouldn't want to, but they should make it like really tempting. Like, make it so they're worth five thousand bucks a pop or something. I 
Oh, it's like a hard G, like gold or real. Maybe it's, maybe it's Jold and Jill. Just you know, <laughs> we've been lied to all our all our lives. But sweet sweet Jold. Uh, the doctor, everything this town, didn't I? Big one here. Did I? No, I don't remember reading this book. Those who shoot arms must synchronize their spirit. The arms make up. Sometimes the synchronization is so detailed that it results in the arms performing well above their specs. That is why results vary when different people shoot the same arm. Figuratively speaking, an arm needs to be synchronized as if it were a part of your body. Can we change arms? <laughs> different characters? We can't change armor, can we? Jilden Silver, yep. Jilla. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe it's all gelatin money. So it's Jella. <laughs> you jelly about my Jella? Three followers of the darkness. Legend speaks of three demons who transform themselves into shields to protect the eternal sparkle. Well, that's uh, promising. They're Andro, governor of wisdom, Hierarcho, governor of agility, and Creo, governor of strength. These three followers are said to be perpetually engulfed in darkness, always by their night's side, obeying every his every command. It's said that they will come to light once the darkness is banished by a blue dar the darkness is banished by a blue darkness. What? <laughs> so they can seek out their leader. Banish the darkness by a blue darkness. Huh. <laughs> Notebook filled with feed prices and horse transactions could belong to the stable keeper. Horse feed is of high quality. You should take good care of horses here. I hope you don't have to buy the horses. <laughs> That's the point of coming here. It costs 2,000, which I don't have anywhere near enough. The, like Magellan. Yep. Let's go to Wasabi. Mm. I feel like I've talked to everybody. I don't think anybody offered any new locations. Oh. I had to talk to her again, apparently. I guess after I talked to the, uh, the ant... <laughs> Another group of drifters asked about the East Ruins just a while ago. Are they with you? Yeah, you know, I mean that, that system is kind of frustrating. The fact that you cannot see places unless an NPC mentions it. You know, you can just go out of your way to explore things. Like you could literally walk by a a town and not see it because some nobody told you the town exists. Like what? Picking a snowstorm? Ugh, it sucks. Yeah, we had, we had our big snowstorm last week. We had like a... I guess it ended up being about a foot of snow that fell. So yeah, that was kind of a mess. <laughs> couldn't even work that day. I couldn't I couldn't leave like my, my side street. Just The snow plows came like late that night, so... I could not even leave my driveway to work, so that was fun. Not the sea bream. Nice. It's like down there, east, or over here, east. Over here, east apparently. Serpent's coils. Because gotten relatively little snowfall. Well, they usually get a lot of snowfall because of the lake effect and everything. 
Be on your guard, everyone. That shield that seals the Eternal Sparkle is located here. There's a good chance Janice might be here, too. We got 11 Gela to our name. We are broke as fuck. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, money, mo. Let's go with the sweet wrists. I shouldn't have picked those up. Vitality's already maxed. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Let's analyze these things. Oh, we got enough uh, FP to start now that we can actually cast a spell right off the bat. Except for a heal, of course. Jitty blob. It's gonna be weak to ice, right? Oh, it's weak to every spell. Alright, good to know. Murder it with magic. It's probably strong against physical attacks. <laughs> it's immune to physical attacks. Very weak to magic attacks. At least we're gonna get a whole bunch of gems with these guys. Guess we'll get some money. <laughs> Ow. Booby Tramp. Oh. Yeah, it makes sense against those things. Let's probably kill them off like right off the bat without having to uh, without having to like get your FP up. Or just, you know, you can get your FP up by attacking them and you're not gonna kill them anyways, so. Makes sense. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Ruby trap? Mimics? That's all right. Could someone be here already? I don't believe it. A lot of dudes. Let's see if we can even Let's see if we can one shot these guys. <laughs> if not, that will eventually whittle them down. I know, right? It's the biggest jerks. Definitely very good. Not my treasure.
ladder. Missed. these things and freeze them load them up Even then, those things are pretty weak, so... More of those big-ass groups. Three is not enough to, <laughs> to warrant using one of those. I wouldn't be surprised if there's RPGs where they do something like that. And of course you open up a chest and there's like a mimic inside. <laughs> Maybe that, that was somebody's poop that evolved. Stock up on those coins. I'm assuming when we killed them with, uh, with that summon... Actually, did we get a coin? Maybe we did. No, I definitely didn't. <laughs> Everybody knows that dragon poop is diamonds, so... So dragon poop is great. Ah, five, good enough. She can't wrench, doesn't have enough MTC. Poop snakes. Are they snakes that look like poop? <laughs> Are they snakes that, that eat poop? Are they like... Those little tape worm kind of snakes? Bobby trap. Poop. I mean, how much how much fairy poop would you need to make a sword? That would take a lot of fairy poop. <laughs> Snake eats poop. Are there stories of snakes in toilets? That'd be the that'd be the worst place to find a snake. <laughs> Especially if it's one of those snakes that likes to uh, eat eggs. <laughs> it's like, hmm. It's two, two nice eggs just dangled down into my, uh, my, my house. Sucks. 
so many gems. Is the Beal Juice who's sneaking the toilet? Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Welcome to late night chat. Okay, I am like kind of lost in here. I don't know where the hell I am. Okay, we're back at the entrance, I think. Thing looks the same. There's no, yeah, there's no map in here. I don't want to miss everything, anything, but. Okay, that's the switch we hit. That opened the store over here. Nice, that's 3,000 bucks right there. And, man, just got like 5,000 bucks. There's a sweet room. Navigation system activated. A circle in case an unexplored area will. Okay, so we, we have a map now? Cross the area explored, use the symbols, navigate your way around the rooms. Do it again, turn off the navigation system. No? How do we. Okay, so it just shows it at the, uh, at the exits. It's not quite a map, but... So how do we open this door? Is there something to hit somewhere? Are these torches? I tried the ones downstairs, I tried these ones, no. Floor 004 thing, too, yeah. We've been over there. Alright, who wants this one? Let's get one of our slower dudes to get this. Let's get Clive, because Clive is guaranteed to go be going after everybody else, so. last. Six fire gems. Nice. Oh, there you go. Chill count up. Not to go all the way around again. <laughs> Why, thank you. Never imagined a rival drifter would be so cooperative. Blonde. More drifters. <laughs> it's Team Rocket, isn't it? <laughs> it's not Janice, but still thugs nonetheless. Was she referring to me? Mr. Afro dude. This lassie needs to get out more. Madam, we must press on. Cat question mark? <laughs> I know, I know. Is this still responding on the radar? What are you doing here anyway? Huh? Did I stutter? I'm sure we were just looking for a shield anyway. Okay then, here's another question. What makes you think you can find your way around the wasteland? 
What is it that supports you that makes you think you can make it? What are you talking about? I'm just me. Stop talking such nonsense. It sounds like you, you're just another one of those people who roam the wasteland unprepared and clueless. Like, suppose there's that you give female drifters such a poor rep. I can't stand it. One of these days, you're going to really hurt yourself by pretending to be a drifter. Let's just you turn back now. Pretending? I'm sorry, my sister always speaks her mind. It often makes her come off as harsh. Timid boy, some really big ass ears. <laughs> it's like a weird bandana thing. I know I'm just starting to take flight, but still, the nerve of her. She's gonna steal our shield. I gotta go all the way back there. No, I think, yeah, exactly. Preemptive strike. Man, at least we're getting a lot of cash in this. Got the, the two Gala cards plus the uh, got two thousand bucks. We're getting a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of gems, like a hundred bucks a pop. So I'm sure we'll do some decent upgrades after this. Go Gojira! Booby trap! No boobies. Just a whole lot of traps. but he's maxed out, right? Arsenal Clive should have one more. <clears throat> he's got his material up. <coughs> I did use that one item to get uh, Jet and extra, an extra MTC. I wonder if that counts towards his, like, 10-point requirement. Where it, like, basically skips his first step. Okay, now. So the 10 points is beyond that that freebie you get. Can we hit that with the boomerang or no. Smelling mimic. It was like increased experience or something, don't they?
Yeah. Remember those from the uh, previous games. Always keep forgetting to use them during boss fights and whatnot. Hmm. Actually, Jet just got another. <laughs> Clive goes, he's gonna go after all the enemies go, so. I guess I, I guess the booby trap also deletes all the uh, the treasures you get from the enemies too. So I imagine leaving alone is probably the best bet when you kill a whole whack of enemies with magic. level automatically increases as you collect migrant seals. Hooray! As your migrant level increases, the cost of cancelling an encounter decreases, allowing you to avoid more powerful enemies. Clear shine. Is this automatic? I guess it must be automatic. That's personal skill that nullifies confusion. Mm, do I give that to... delete would just like put it back into our inventory. Oops. <laughs> Alright, so don't use delete. <laughs> oh. It's a good thing we learned early on instead of, you know, with a good ability. Some HP. I don't know if that's worth a duplicator, but whatever. Right. 
How rude. <laughs> the wasteland is all about competition, but how low can she go? That's the door. Again, I wonder. Look at the soundtrack of this game. Nice. Must be a nice soundtrack. Freeze it. Freeze it more. Maybe it's going to thaw if I hit it with more ice. Four. Wow. That's a lot of music. I'm guessing from Japan, because... <laughs> God damn it. I guess gotta freeze it again after uh, we thought. Just like kill that blondie. There was a chance for us to murder her, but nope. But from US Seller. It's very cool. You're such a nice sore. What do you think you are anyway? It may be an experience, but I'm doing the best I can. I'm not pretending, okay? I'm not gonna have you laugh at me when I'm trying my best. Of our other team members, which are like experienced drifters or just <laughs> staying completely silent and all of this. You really crank me up. Why don't you just prove how far your best will take you? Let's kick her ass. How much do those go for? I imagine they're probably fairly pricey. Timid boy, afro cat. <laughs> Cat's gonna have. Looks like a magician. He's got like a one thingy. Murder of the cat. That sounds about right. Cycle crank. Nope. Fusion bed. Lucky card. I oh, guess you can only use on one person. Actually, this would be a good thing to use with Virginia's FP ability. No, oh, exactly. Yeah, good deal. Sharon. Well, we got Virginia now. It's 
like Sharon, but better. Not really. Sharon was pretty OP. Alright, let's use that. Uh, Mystic. Got a lucky card. Oh, murder the cat. Alright. Let's get rid of Afro. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's basically this combat in a nutshell. Like the the camera the camera angles doesn't really help things. Yeah. Is, uh, this one is for sure Afro is the one that causes confusion. So. Let's see what for Afro. Can go for us. He's out of ammo. need to get rid of Afro. The confusion is annoying as shit. Looks like Afro's dead. This guy doesn't even deal any damage.
Bondi's the only one left. Should take that gun out of. Wow, one damage. <laughs> that was pathetic. It's ready four times two. <laughs> But Virginia didn't level up. Boo. <laughs> yes, she does. Yes, she does. Because you got a DS. <laughs> tenacious and stubborn. What's that portrait? What is she doing? Is she taking a contact lens out of her eye or something? Kind of looks like what she's doing there. Just like got blue contacts. <laughs> Missed anything of value. A lot of me running around, pinging the entire overworld, and spending half an hour with like a random encounter that just was kicking my ass. Felt like something that we shouldn't have encountered that we somehow encountered in the area we were in. Let's see if we can handle this. Not a book, anything but that, but the book. Uh, sis, sis. He told he has a DS. <laughs> How dare you interrupt me? Since when have you gotten so bold? Up the arms are Alter Code F, you? Anyway, what is it? Sis, the radar is reacting. I think the team that went in ahead of us is making this move. Sorry to spoil the party, but we don't have time to play with you anymore. Ta-ta! Don't hurt yourself! Wait! The name's Maya Schrodinger. And we are the renowned, the renowned Schroding, Schrodinger family. Oh, she forget it. It's a name you'll be chasing for a long time. I'm Virginia Maxwell. I remember it for the time being, but listen. Once I turn my head, you better be right behind me, or else I'll forget real quick. The Schrodingers. They give you gimmel coins after boss fights instead of before. Another duplicator. Once we're getting more duplicator and we're getting like things that op that need to be opened with duplicators. I mean we had that that choice between like the the book, which kind of basically uses information, and that uh, was, like name tags I think in that other chest. Calamity Jane, but not. Yeah. I mean, that's probably her nickname. I think she's in the manual. It's the character section. No, she's not. It's Janice Cascade. Prophet's Melody Valente. Malik Benedict, Lee Halt, Al Alcest. Hmm. 
Yep, she's done the manual. They're definitely kind of uh, they're definitely introducing her as some kind of rival to us. Kind of like Janus looked like he was going to be before, you know, it's like, oh no, he's just going to be an evil bastard. Yeah, where, where, where did she go? <laughs> Didn't she come in here before us? Shield. I think we're the first ones here. Oh, he's so happy. Huh? Wait, where's my and her team? Well, better make most of this opportunity. It's too high. I'll be able to reach it like that. Would you like some help? Hey, thanks, Janice. Yeah, can you... <laughs> huh? Hi there. What's up? Oh, man. Are they the team Maya was talking about? Apparently. Jeez. Why does everyone hate us? Well, bro. We have no social graces, just like the boss. <laughs> I just chose to work efficiently. When I don't like it, they make a fuss. Make a fuss? How could you say that after betraying people's trust? Everybody and their brother are so blind to their own faults. It's as if everyone is blaming me, making me look like the bad guy. The truth of the matter is, everyone's just sore, they're outwitted. Now I get it. You feel no pain when you stomp over the people because of the way you think. Well, of course, I'm the one doing the stomping, so why should I feel the pain? Calling you a thug is much too flattering. You have absolutely no moral, moral principles. You're nothing but a scumbag. Scumbag? That's an understatement. Yeah, I should have used that Gimel coin. <laughs> yeah, should be fine. I mean, we fought that friggin' Kobold. I'm pretty sure <laughs> most of these boss fights are nothing compared to that Kobold fight. Famous last words, I know. Just cross on him like last time, but I just gonna heal his buddies. All the times. Yeah. I don't think there's any point in using a luck card here. Oops, sorry. Here, where did we attack him? The oops, sorry, is making us attack him instead of, uh... <laughs> so I guess we'll murder him first. It's fine with me. This is, it seems that Janus isn't healing his ass all the time. Kill one of them, they can't use the Trinity at least. Right, kill one of them down.
notice the, uh, I guess the pointer probably points at roughly how much health they have. It's nearly dead. I know, right? Gotta make sure that people are just running around like crazy and the camera's just flailing everywhere. Gotta make it look super cinematic. I'm still getting your ass kicked by a uh, physical attack. Ready, carrot. Everybody's level 12 now. Hooray! <laughs> Virginia's still pretty behind, but. <laughs> Give it the cat's gonna steal that thing. Is that cat farting? <laughs> Hey, boss. I got the shield and it's taken off with it. Camera stops moving, it'll explode. It's the camera. It's like it's, it's attached to a uh, to a bomb that goes off. It's under 50 kilometers or 50 uh, miles an hour. <laughs> Portrait. Idiots. What are you doing standing around? It's no ordinary cat. It belongs to a drifter. <clears throat> we, already had, we had already confirmed that there were two other teams within the ruins in search of the shield. Oh, and how easily we were able to snatch away the goods from both of you. I was a little disappointed how the notorious Cascade came to live up to this reputation. A little anticlimactic, I must say. Since when did women begin to lose modesty? Oh, women have been living proudly for a long time now. Just need to date more. Eternal Sparkle is sealed by three shields. Rumor has it the female drifter is in possession of the Creo shield. Might that be you? Bingo. Looks like the odds are against us today. But I want to give I want you to know that we're not giving up the Eternal Sparkle. Have you been to Clareborn, southwest of there, by the tip of the peninsula, since an ancient tower? It's called Ked Ted Kedingle. <laughs> It was constructed by humans long ago in an effort to reach the heavens, seeking power. Southwest. So the eternal sparkle is sealed. Sealed by the power of the three shields. Why, thank you kindly for the information. Yeah, we're totally not going to ambush you there or anything. <laughs> I choose to work efficiently, that's all. If I am just buying time.
stop right there. Get just like swoops in, saves the day. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know where the hell they're coming up with these damn names. Eternal Sparkle. Does Eternal Sparkle just give us the ability to do jazz hands all the time? I said stop. <laughs> Bitch slapped. The other one needs to stop what you're doing. But why? They're... You do have a bad rap. That just goes to show how good they are. That's the way it is in the wasteland. But... But what? You think that they're the bad guys? What's your definition of bad? Just now, you did something extreme and endangered your comrade. So by being impudent or imprudent and risking the lives of others, doesn't that make you the bad guy too? That whistle tune. My fingers say that they slap. No, wait. You're not going to the tower, are you? It's a trap. I know it. I know it's so good. Of course it's a trap. It's so obvious. You look surprised. You're wondering why I would set up in that tower? Well, if we go there and they show up, all the shields will be in one place. The eternal sparkle is sealed there. The stage would be complete. I gotta say, Maya does breathe quite uh, a lot, doesn't she? <laughs> she's like she's always out of breath. What was it that I wanted to accomplish as a drifter? I have no idea. My wings are, are in place, yet I have nowhere to fly. A hurdle people face when they wander into the wasteland with some romantic idea in mind. Just bring the shield and head southwest to Kedingle. There you'll find neither good nor bad, only the truth about drifters. Once you face the truth, you'll find your answer, okay? Are you sure, milady? Yes, yeah, she'll be fine. Once she faces the truth, I'm sure she'll stop pretending to be a drifter. Alright, everyone. Let's get going. Yep, they got the best whistlers. Our leader is pretty bummed out. What we can do is lend a helping hand. She cannot get back on her feet herself, and this is it for her. Well, depending on how you look at it, it was kind of fun. According to them, we're just amusing ourselves pretending to be drifters. Well, what now? That's up to the leader to decide. Perhaps she has already made up her mind. Where am I supposed to fly? I'm doing the best I can. I'm taking this seriously, but I feel like I'm getting nowhere. What am I lacking here? What is it that supports me and molds me into who I am? What is it that I need to traverse the wasteland as a drifter? Daddy. Back then I didn't understand why you left me or what you were thinking. But now I think I understand a little bit. There's something out there in the wasteland, right, Daddy? That's so why I became a drifter. Daddy, what should I do? I can't consider myself a drifter until I know, right? Hey, you can't fly until you have a, an, an airship. Come on, Regina. Everybody knows that. You don't get the airship until like three quarters of the way through the game. Still, I have to fly. If I don't, this will all end without my finding out anything. I'm not going to the wasteland because I have a purpose. Going to the wasteland to find a purpose. I better go ahead and apologize to everyone and I 
feeling better. I'm fine now. And... I'm sorry. I better be sorry. <laughs> I became a drifter thinking that my arms could help people in need. But I didn't have a purpose or goal as a drifter. This is why she said I was pretending. I put everyone in danger. Please forgive me. Did you figure out what you needed to do in the wasteland? Yep. Uh, wait. Maybe not. Which is it? I'm not confused anymore. I know where, why I need to continue traversing the wasteland. It's like we're a spirit of depressing sob story. Of course. I may have been depressed a little while ago, but I'm not going to let it end like this. So let's all continue on as a team and see this matter through. I haven't made much money yet. I can't drop out now. Yeah, we're not making much money at all, are we? <laughs> Although we do have all those gems, and we have those two Gela coin or Gela card thingies, so did make a good chunk of change in the last dungeon. Hey, we're all invited guests. Let's do this together. Thanks, everyone. Sorry, Southwest Tower. Kadingle. Kadingle. Now oh, we got a free heal, luckily. All these things. Look at all the money rolling in. Let's hold on to these right now. Eh, you know what? Screw it. Just sell these. Until we find enemies that that uh, drop at least fifteen hundred gelo, <laughs> it's gonna be more efficient just to sell the gelo cards and to actually double the money drops. I know, right? It's so good. Let's give everybody at least level one shoot. Use a big jump in cost, like four times the cost. Alright, what's next? Uh, critical. This is critical chance. Great, it's not like he's missing at all. to red side, yeah. It's definitely a little confusing for sure. Good enough. And the three shields protecting the internal sparkles crowned with their own individual significance. Shields are Andro, which stands for wisdom, and Creo, which stands for strength, and Hierarcha, which stands for agility. All names of sphinxes, if you don't know. Which shield do we have? The intro shield, which is what strength. <laughs> yep, pamphlets are great.
Should have enough money to buy those horses, but eh. No horses for us. Y'all are drifters, and you must know um, or who I'm talking about. Over here, Janus Cascade. Such a hunk. He always get handsome, but he knows how to handle himself. Uh, but you know, you only hear bad things about him. That only proves how skilled he is. The outlaw persona gives off such a turn on. Can drop her britches for Janus. Something discovered the ruins by Peninsula. Another group of drifters stocked up on items and head that way. Monsters the plague travelers can be avoided by riding a horse. If you feel like you're ready to saddle up, just let me know. I have some great horses. Uh, what's her name? Just the other day, Drifter got drunk and trashed the room he was staying in. And then Martina disappears, leaving behind nothing but a note. Talk about double trouble. So where's this note? Find that thing because I'm totally gonna forget about the direction. And I think I'll be calling there for tonight. <laughs> it's been a long work day. Just need to go southwest. I found that one treasure once, just by like walking around and pinging. Even though I'm pretty sure I'd pinged there before, the treasure appeared. I haven't seen one since. Do we need sonar? We had to like be told of its existence. That's, that's the thing that's the most annoying about this uh, mechanic is if somebody doesn't tell you the existence of something, you cannot find it. <laughs> so you can't see this huge tower, this humongous town that you're like literally standing on top because nobody told you that it exists. It's like, what the hell? I could see like finding some ruins or something like that. You know, those could be hidden in some like. Could be hidden in some like forest somewhere, so unless you're aware of the existence, but. Town is generally pretty easy to spot. And of course a tower. It's 
so yeah, not, not the most logical. But I guess this game decided to, to do that to uh, limit progr uh, story progression instead of uh, making it so the enemies are like ultra hard or whatever. Or just throwing some sort of some sort of gatekeeper in front. You know, you could have like a lock gate at the uh, at the tower, right? And then you get there now, and of course, since Janice and Maya have gone there ahead of you, they've unlocked the door. You know, they, you know, something like that would make sense. We're just making it so you can't even get there before this point. Yeah, no, that does not make sense. Yeah, the sonar, if the sonar was used just to find, like, hidden, you know, like those little signs we keep finding, that have tidbits of information, or the, uh, like some, some extra treasure, I mean, people will still be using this thing to, to ping everywhere. So there's not really any reason to hide, you know, towns and stuff behind it. Okay, I don't want to go too close to that edge, because so we got snagged by that kobold last time. Okay, let's see. If there's any hidden treasure, I ain't finding it. Listening. Treasure. All right, well, let's hit the save point there. I'm going to have to call it there for tonight. Get some some rest after the long work day. It's one thing somebody mentioned last time, which I didn't catch until the stream ended, is if you say no to continue, it gives you like a little epilogue thingy. Which is kinda neat. Let's watch that before we head out. Are you playing no? Kind of like a summary or whatever. It's cute. It's really like watching an anime. <laughs> you load your game, you get like a you get like an like an intro sequence. You you end your game, you get like an outro sequence. It's like it's like they really animeified <laughs> this game. It's great. Been OST and a uh, EST there. All right, so yeah, so we'll so I'll stop the timing there and call it there for tonight. Uh, so tomorrow I'm off tomorrow, so I'm definitely gonna be on. Do a full day of, of working of uh, Weldarm's uh, three goodness. So we'll start around uh, noonish tomorrow. In the meantime, though, hopefully everybody enjoyed uh, another slice of Weldarm's three. And uh, yeah, we'll call it there for tonight. So let's see who's online. We can host up. Uh, well, I got Hippolito on. 
Just playing some L.A. Noir. It's gonna be getting close to the end of that one. Yeah, he's, I think he's like on his last mission. So we're gonna raid up Hippolito, and we'll go from there. So in the meantime, thanks everybody for watching. Have a great night. Now, catch y'all tomorrow for more fantastic Wild Arms 3. Ba -ba -bom. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. I'll see you next time.